All right, I seem to be going fine, good. So I got, oh, I don't need uh, heavy armor. Wait, I'm a uh, ice elemental, so I have to get close to people to freeze them, right? Do something good about the magic points of the bubby, because I think their uh, spellcasting aptitude is like their only good aptitude. It's like a plus two or something. They're actually pretty good. I'm not sh it might be top equal in aptitude, the spellcasting or something. Or if everything else is like a minus two. I'll sell some minus one. Yeah, bubbies aren't exactly known with this. The aptitudes. Our endoplasm is not resistant to cold because they always seem to kill them really easily. Got Uridel Null Chamber Adels Nebulax. I don't think so. Uh, Alright, second level. I have to get to third level before I get another spell though, unfortunately. So... For now, I'll just have to be freezing creatures. But you can often get to second level by the end of the... Um, Dungeon, right? Oh, I should grab a little dagger. I know I've got a lot of magic points, but I still need some sort of backup weapon. There we go. There's a little dagger for me to use. And I'm done with this level. Right, and, uh, actually only barely second level by the end of the first level of the dungeon. So this time around, it wasn't worth a huge amount of XP, but I still got second level, so it's better than sometimes. Uh, I better run, although I think the snake's faster than me. Ah, oh, does too. But I just wanted to get back to the staircase, get all my health magic. I mean, apart from this worm, I think a lot of these creatures might be faster than me. Uh oh. Hey, just enough magic points. Doesn't have to desperately try and stab with a dagger or something. Uh, I don't think anything I particularly need there, but this axe is woodcutter's axe. Always has a one attack delay, no matter how much skill you have, so I might as well use it. Oh yeah, it does 20 damage as well, so at this point in the game it's actually pretty good. Ooh. I hit me too many dots. In fact, is it better than using my freeze? I don't know, maybe it could be. Anyway, I need intelligence so I can get better at casting my spells, and also I can get my Frozen Ramparts, and I can get my Ozucuba's Armor. Yeah, I can't get the Summoned Ice Beast yet. Wait, is that another third level spell? I like all my Ice Spells third level, that's kind of funny. Uh... Do you want this Ablis? The Ablis the Acrobat. Alright. Oh, got a Spirit Guardian one as well. Got the entire collection of Ablis here. I don't... Oh, there we go. The rat's getting up to me, so I can... Frozen Ram parts. There we go, and it's straight up dead. Yeah, I feel like that might be the case for a lot of these guys, but I'll just hit them with my axe, I guess. While they're freezing to death. Seems to do the trick at the moment. Oh. Unless oh, something's next to a wall. Also, did crazy you for the cloak worth getting? I mean, it's probably not, uh, not time to find him just yet, but I should check what sort of cloak he has. Soon or rather later. Alright, Quokka, get a bit closer to die. I don't think it's dead yet. Just a plus zero cloak? I haven't seen him with a good cloak for a little while. No, but yeah, that's definitely not gonna kill him as, as a level three character. That would go horribly wrong, I'm pretty sure. Alright, cockroach get frozen. Frozen, Freezing Rampart starts off really powerful. Um, not gonna go Chamber Aid also this character. I'll probably just go like Sif or something. Because I want to get the Permafrost Eruption spell. I don't know, it depends. If I find the spell anyway, maybe not. Oh, this Crystal Spear doesn't quite work. It's like the opposite. Uh, no, I guess ours isn't exactly the opposite. In fact, the Permafrost Eruption is an Earth spell. Earth Ice, I think. What do I got here? Shock, Swiftness, Air Strike. That's Book of Air, right. Apportation, Summons more mammals, lots of things. Wait, Book of Movement? I don't think I've seen that one before. So it's got Bombard, Vise Electric Charge, Passport, Volatile Blast Modes. Oh yeah, those are all related to movement, makes sense. And Book of Spheres, which I guess got all for destruction. Probably wouldn't need the Fireballs and Earth Mage. I don't know, maybe, but not the first thing I want to buy. So I should grab, I should grab some of these scrolls. Uh, don't describe them, just give them to me. Butterfly is not too bad either. They can get the fog as well, I get basically everything apart from the sharp weapon. Which this character doesn't really need a sharp weapon, let's be honest. They're not going to be hitting things with a weapon. <laughs> They're going to be freezing things to death. 
Well, there's more stuff. I mean, currently I'm still swinging my axe at things, right? But that's only because I can. Uh, actually, I got plenty of identified. They should use some of those. So I got teleport, a chart weapon, and a chart armor. Oh, I might as well use the chart armor on my helmet. Because that's unlikely to be replaced, at least not for quite some time. Now, probably it's like some demand for the enchant um, armor scrolls. Like, I might get a shield eventually. Uh, but there won't be a huge demand for them. Because it's not like I'm going to be wearing heavy armor or anything like that. And it doesn't sound too much worry with this character. Like, I'm poison immune. Um, to get slowed by the cold. I'm sure they like, can still do a little bit of damage to melee, right? But. I don't think I need to worry too much. Alright. But the first few levels of the dungeon are usually not too bad with an ice elementalist. Oh, it's a dragon school. Summon Hydra. Cool Ebb. And Summon Mammal. I mean, it kind of has almost the progression there. Um, you'd almost use that as like your only summoning book, but I think you'd probably run a uh, bit troll into the mid and low level spells. Uh, I gotta presume this guy's gonna stand in a good spot to get frozen. You know what? I'm kind of weird right now. I might just head up. Stairs, um, unfortunately that stairs is like out of the open, so it's uh, not gonna get anything near any walls, so I'll just go somewhere else. Oh, I should've taken those enderplasts like cold resist, because I know they do cold damage, but I don't think they actually resist it. Uh, what's it say? No, they're poison resist, that's it. Oh, there's another guy out in the open, um. Ooh. That's not what I want to see with this uh, phantom here. Wait, it actually died? I think the axe had quite a bit of damage to it. Uh-oh. Um, I need my armor on as well. There we go. I'm going to swing it in. I think it remains there. Uh... In fact, if I'm just sitting in one spot, do I have both buffed up AC and buffed up armor? So, yeah, actually, I can just kind of sit here and just wait for things to die, right? I don't know, I think swinging the axe is probably still worthwhile. Uh, Okawara is not what I'm looking for. That's not going to help me cast ice spells. Well, it's actually getting ice spells that I need help with, I think, the most. Oh. Uh... Come on, priest. Oh, it's not dying quite fast enough. It didn't have cold resist or something, did it? It just had chainmail. That's probably why the chainmail would have been reduced to how much damage it took. Um, because the frozen ramparts does check AC these days. It didn't used to, but I think it does now. Oh, what's the ender Not the ender plasm, the slime creature. Ow, that's my head for a lot. What did that hit me for? I don't know. A lot. I just back up and get my health back. Yeah. I don't come on upstairs somewhere I can freeze you up nicely. Oh my god, Inner Flame Irradiate Ignition. I'm not even getting the right spell scores for like a radio or something. Ooh, Temple, nice. I think I was that deep in the dungeon. And I do have Sif Mata if I want to go take them. I think I do. Yeah, try and get some good gifts with the spells or something. Uh... Alright, let's go grab them. There we go. Let's get out of here. What am I on? Dungeon level 4. Is that the... Wait, that's like the earliest you can find a temple. So, at least I should have plenty of piety on this character. Do I have any dead fires left? No. Okay. 
Um, kind of, uh, kind of tried the wood card attacks, right? I'm pretty sure that's an artifact. Yeah. <laughs> Can carry around as a little dagger. And I got, oh, I've got a helmet, right? I've got a plus one helmet because I enchanted it. Now I've got a cloak as well. Like, kind of fancy with this, uh... I just, I'm a, well, not, a uh, robe looks incredibly fancy. <laughs> We're just, like, a bla basic plus zero robe. Oh, come on. Freeze the wall. What's my chance of failing that? Form set, okay. It's not too bad. Because I know when I first got it, it was kind of not that great. I should get the Ice Beast, actually. Because I want to have, I could get it at summoning. I'm not planning on getting it at summoning, but I do have the Dragon School. No, I want to keep with ice. See if there's been any changes made to the permafrost eruption. Oh, hey, ice beast. Yeah, that's about to get into trouble with the ice beast. Oh, my ice beast weaker, isn't it? I do have white cold this, so I guess that's something, right? Yeah, this axe is okay. Oh, hey, Oga. Um, hmm. Where's my ice piece? It's D, is it? Oh, wrong side. Uh, actually, you know, let's... Fine, forgetting the Oga. Um... I think I miscast the ice piece or something. Um, one of those spells this year. I think I might have cast the wrong spell on that last turn or something. Stuart's trying to burn me up with his little bolts of fire, and I'm vulnerable to that being a mummy. Uh, come on, get a little bit closer. Oh, don't just dodge it out of view. That's all right. Move up into the ice. Uh, get the ice beast. All right, put on the ice armor. Then just fight, I guess. Yeah. Hey, my slower turn. That's got to be. Oh, the spell cast got to eight. So that would be why. Yup, makes sense. Uh. Mm. Alright, now I'm level 8. In fact, spellcasts are getting to 8. That's, uh, the first 8 points, I think, are the most effective at giving magic points. So it's nice to have that first 8. And I do have a lot of magic points on this character. That's something, at least. How good am I with the invocations? Minus 1? That's not bad. Kind of expecting, like, a minus 2 or something. Uh... Hey, bat. You gotta come back? There we go. I don't think it'll be... Oh, wait, it's a fire bat. Hold on. I was gonna say, I don't think it'll be too bad, but I'm actually vulnerable to the fire, right? So... Uh... I think I'm swinging at it. There we go. And now I've got to go... down to level 6. That sounds fine to me. Oh, no, another ogre. Uh... There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Having a nice bit beast between me and it. So it's off the side, the ice beast's got to be on the wrong side, isn't it? Which is a little bit of a shame, but mm, not a lot I can do about that. Sometimes it'll be a walk around like it could there. Uh, not this time, unfortunately. Alright, so I got an identifier. I should use those all as soon as I get them, because I've only got, like, scrolls to identify, so it shouldn't take me too long to get all my stuff identified, thankfully. Ah. Wrong side there, Ice Beast, but I can retreat behind it if I need to, at least. Um. Alright, of course, intelligence. Always intelligence for this character. So there's Vile Clutch, Death Channel, Animate Dead. I might eventually get, like, a Vile Clutch or something, but... I don't know, there's no huge area on those. Although the spellcasting is still reasonably cheap, but I should definitely get some more ice magic. I think a little bit of fighting as well. I mean, my health is uh, 59, which on dungeon level 6 is okay. And I still think it's a good idea to get a bit more fighting. Uh... 
Uh, I was not quite close enough to freeze. I just had the, uh, yeah, the ice beast to the trick. Ooh, okay. I better get out of there. That bolt of cold, uh, bolt of cold, bolt of fire, hit me for like half my health. Uh, give us swing this axe in case anyone gets next to me. Because it takes exactly one turn, so it's kind of the same as waiting. Actually, it's not the same as waiting, because if I wait, I get a bit more evasion. Oh, well. Uh, those can all suddenly go berserk. Try and get their attention. Pull them all back somewhere where they won't go berserk. I don't, uh, I don't think the, um, guy can send me berserk at least, though. Oh, I can't, still can't rest up when it's in view, though, for whatever reason. I guess it kind of makes sense. Maybe. In fact, even if it could get up to me, it could send me berserk, right? Because I don't think mummies go berserk. I haven't played that many mummies, but I'm pretty sure they can't go berserk. Oh, hey there, Ice Beast. Um... There we go. I guess I just do the whole ice beast against this guy. Uh, still got my icy armor on. This should be fine. I think it brings me up quite a lot from like 5 AC to how much does it give me? I don't know, let's try it on now. 13, yeah, it's a good 8 more AC or something. I heard there was a change to that like, uh... Mommy is, might be able to worship a Leveler now. Not that I'm trying to go for a Leveler with this character. But they certainly can't worship the Shining One. But the Mommy and the Shining One will probably get kind of powerful and extended. Uh... Did I... Kill that guy just like immediately? I don't think I killed him, but maybe I did. Alright, goodbye on it. Yeah, hold it's on too bad. I think they can do a reasonable amount of damage. I don't know. But they can't like poison me up because they can often give you lethal poison with other characters. Let's go downstairs. Um Channel magic would need the invocations, which I should get eventually, shouldn't I? But I'm not doing too bad with the magic points right now, so I don't think there's a huge hurry on it. Faint crackling of a very distant portcullis. I don't have a magic mapping, but I do know that it's not where I am currently. Oh, regen. Um, I guess I'll try that one. I don't know. What I had on wasn't too bad, but I was doing a lot of uh, melee attacks, which was making the acrobat not do as much. Uh, still very distant, so wherever I've gone hasn't helped. I might just try going uh, to the right. Oh, wait, I need the ice beast. Uh, it's unfortunately going to lose the OA spell, but this, that's fine. Uh, I don't think I stand by my ice piece. I think I just stay here and let these guys freeze to death. But the ice piece is my escape option, I think. What do I need? I need more ice magic. Definitely need more of my ice magic. But I can probably get a little bit more spell casting. Not like quite as much, just because it's kind of cheap. And I might get some more spell casting as well. Not spell casting, fighting. Yeah, I mean, the spells are doing just fine right now. Until I can find something better. Uh, now these are ice, right? No, I got some summoning, lots of summoning, but no ice, I don't think. I'm still very disappointed, Kalos. I mean, I haven't moved that far from where I was before. Ooh, I don't like the look at that centaur. And it's a, there's Aeon's ghost in here. Octopode Monk with the Shining One. I feel like I might have done that combo at some stage. And I mean, they're an octopode, so there's probably going to be a lot of early game octopode ghosts, right? Because they do tend to die quite early. 
What's a man you'll give? Necromancy? I mean, in theory, Bobby, it's a man to be good at necromancy because they get the whole enhancer for it, but. I don't know. Ow. Oh, I don't actually retreat back. Mm, that didn't really work that well either. That's oh, fine. Oof. Do what do I actually have to hit this guy? Got my armor on. Oh, I got my frozen ramparts out. Got my ice beads to hit edge. I can zap with the one to flame, but I don't know that does that much. Uh, ooh, a distant port cow. So I'm getting in roughly the right direction. Um, don't know if I need to go up or down. Oh, this looks like the right area. Oh, it's a bit far away. There we go. Quick. Oh man, this port cow hasn't got very long in it, does it? Wait, oh, it's not freezing those guys, is it? Just bring them in a little bit closer so they actually get frozen. Loud crackling, man, I better just go into this. I'll drop the drop the Spirit Guardian and Charm Weapon though before I go in. Although I think my inventory is kind of fine. Oh, hey, um, it's a shame that Ice Elementals don't start with much of the way of ranged spells. Uh... Hmm... I mean, the ice bees can swim, right? I was worried about the centaurs. Ah, there's one. I can buy my ice bees to go for it, but it's kind of far away. Don't know if this will do much, but I'll try hit it with a wand of flame. Made some steam, but it didn't really... No, it didn't even hit, did it? Oh, did it? No, did no damage. Okay. Oh, wait, I need my Alter Cuba's armor on. Oh, no, my Ice Beast died. Oh, well, I'll send out the next one. Um. Yeah, okay, the armor's doing something at least. Uh. And these guys are just like kind of sitting ducks waiting for the ice beast to come along and finish them off. Okay. Obviously this one's the one to go for. There we go. I can't swim, so I kind of got to go around the long way if I want to get anywhere. Yeah, I might just go pick up my Curari again. Do I want... I mean, I guess I can pick up the javelins, but I'm not sure I really need them. And sometimes you get good stuff at the end of these baileys, but we'll see what I get this time round. Uh... What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything, actually. I'm just... Wait for these guys to take the ice damage. All right. Ah, appeared there. That's probably fine. These guys are all gonna die to the ice anyway. All right. I'll bring out the... Oh, come on, Ice Beast. There we go. It can probably attack that one guy that I can't hit. I'm not sure if waiting around's the right thing to do here. I mean, it's kind of slowly damaging that guy, but I'm definitely noticing his armor class. Uh... Oh, plus three plate armor, yeah. I mean, that's going to give it quite a good armor class, isn't it? Might just need this door till I've uh, done the rest of this level. Okay. 
It's got to run up a bit. <laughs> There we go, now there's only one way onwards, this way onwards. Is that? Oh, it is worth freezing rage, excellent. It's the perfect spot to have the ice piece because it keeps those guys back while they freeze to death. Uh... There's going to be a lot of uh, sand doors hiding around this corner. I'm just hoping they're next to walls, but I might actually not be able to freeze them very well. Um... Whoa, what's this? Is that fighting? Oh, I want that manual. Uh... There we go. That's looking all right. I want to just step back a bit to get my health back. Um... See quite a few creatures here. I'll just bring out the ice beast to do some damage. Oh. oh that's alright. I was refusing to stand next to a wall, which wasn't gonna help me out. Alright, what's next? More of these uh orc warriors. Those ones have never been too much of a problem. Probably the one with like plus three played up, but that one was quite resistant. Wait, I've got enough piety to be gifted books. Okay. Well, hopefully I get some books at some stage. Hopefully it's a books with lots of ice spells in them. Uh oh, that Tendo's trapped in there. I'm just gonna have to sit here and let the ice beast do stuff to it. Can't freeze that one yet. It's not quite close enough, and it's not going to get close enough. My backup ones. Hey, it actually did. It took the bait and stepped up. I'm kind of surprised. That that brings an artifact, right? All right, time to get around the corner. Hey, this one also took the bait and stepped up into uh, pull up range so it could get frozen. Uh, the most important one to attack for my ice beast is the one with an actual range attack. The other one I don't think can get rid of the range to actually attack me, but unfortunately it can damage my ice beast. It's actually making that a bit harder than it should be. Let's just run up here. Come on, ice beast. Oh, I don't know if the ice beast got this. I don't think it has. I'll try another ice beast, but I'm going to have to run away from this guy pretty soon. Man, no one's actually even damaging that guy. I'm kind of surprised about that. Huh? Oh. There we go. Got my armor back on. What is this one wearing? Chainmail? Right, fair enough, I guess. That would explain the high resistance it seems to have to melee damage here. But I don't think I could have done this without like the ice beast though. This is uh Yeah, it's definitely been quite important. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't fail the spell. What is the ice beast on? It's not 1% fail. I just like the rest of the spells. Because it, uh, it is a little bit harder to cast because it's a summoning spell. I don't have any summoning skill. Um... <laughs> uh oh, it's going to get... <sighs> it's going to get out and it's going to get towards me. That's a bit of a problem. So I'm not really managing to kill it. Hopefully it actually goes towards... There we go. That's better. Now it's attacking me and my ice beast has got free range to kill it. That's what I wanted. Alright. Well, we've got a manual of fighting, which looked really excellent. Got a ring of resist corrosion. I don't have any rings, so yeah, a bit of stealth? Sure, why not? It's probably not something I'll keep us forever, but maybe. I think I'm done here. There's so many polearms on the floor, but I don't need a polearm, so I'm just going to leave. Hey there, bees. I really don't think these bees will be too much of a problem. 
Nope, there's a mummy versus bee fight. In fact, I think the frozen ramparts ignores their invasion. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. I have no uh, fire resist. In fact, I have a negative fire resist right now. So I get absolutely steamed by those guys. Um. I just gotta try to avoid it, I guess. I'm not sure what else there is I can really do against the Steam Dragon. I can't even use that talisman. Doesn't matter, there's a storm on or anything. Not that this character would be likely to try and get a storm, but anyway, oh, there it is again. Hmm. Maybe I can just go downstairs. Bit of a shame. I've still got a little bit of this level to do, but I, I think it's best that I just leave that dude. Mm. Okay, it's not with an ice range. I guess, there we go, it's a little bit closer. I can freeze it up now. Oh, that piety like being high enough to uh, get gifted books that last long. I think Sif Martin is like reasonably impatient and you lose quite a bit of piety when you're not um, killing stuff. You're just like resting up or whatever. Oh, it's a full on merfolk. It's like uh, it's supposed to be cooking up those electric eels so oh, I might just step back a little bit. Goodbye, my folks. So, let's see. I don't think I can eat these, right? We briefly stare at the meat pile and sigh. Yeah, no food for me. I am, in fact, a mummy. But it's got to be some electric eels that have been, uh... I don't know, turned to electric eel jerky or whatever you make. Of electric eels. That ogre's got two heads. Hold up. Yeah, I guess I'll hide up here. Oh, come on. What? Oh, there's the ogre. Wait, what? It's not gonna come around that corner? Oh, okay. That's mildly terrifying. I'll get him with the poison dart. It was just waiting there to ambush me. Oh, I think I missed it with the cure. Hurry. <laughs> Alright then. Um, I don't think I can freeze this guy for much, do I? Let's see, it's got one cold resist. I mean, I still do a little bit of freezing damage, but yeah, it's not my best source of damage against that guy. I think the ice beast probably does considerably more. Oh, no, I dropped three levels. Uh, that's... That's a long way to fall. I'm on dungeon level 12 now. Um, I need to find a way up as quickly as I possibly can, but I don't think I got a magic mapping, so... Okay, I could find that centaur, but I'd rather have it a little bit closer. I might just wander around a bit more. Lots of ways down. Should I want to go even deeper? Oh, there's a spell book. It's got, uh, more summary spells. I got so many summary spells right now, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I, I definitely could do a full on summon with the amount of spells I found for that. But I reckon with Sif Mine, I'll get the ice spells I need anyway. Okay. That's not doing quite as much damage as I'd like. Oh, there we go. It did die. Hmm. Oh, nice ring. I think I'm one ring short, so I'll take the intelligence ring. Put that one on. Uh, come on, give me some of my spells. What have I got? Lightning Spire, Anime Dead, Anime Armor. No, it's not quite what spells I'm after. I got Plasma here. And, okay. 
Well, Sanya got dagger vent. That's all right. Sometimes she has like a distortion weapon or something. Yeah, that's always a bit rough. Uh. Wait, there's a there's a visible dude here. It's completely separate from Sonya. What are those Dantine Horror or something completely different? I don't know, whatever it was, it died pretty quickly to being frozen. Ooh, hold on, I can get off this level. Ice Blast, not too scared of that, I don't think. Uh, can't see how much health he has, but he will be getting frozen at least. Oh, I'm in a net. Where did he get the net from anyway? Did he steal it from me or something? I don't actually know where he is, so I'm just going to freeze these wolves, because I feel like, yeah, he was right there, hitting my Ice Beast. Oh, uh... Let's just get out of there. I saw a boulder beetle. I don't like looking at that. Oh, the distant snort. Oh, I'm not ready for that one. Oh, it's such a shame. I should just keep it going up. Try and recover from the shaft. I think I got one more level to go up. But unfortunately, I'm going to mess out of my Minotaur. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, wait, they can actually freeze it. Uh, how's that fighting skill going? It's on 10. It's actually kind of cheap. I kind of have to just uh, get like a bit more. It's because I got the manual on it. Uh, this is a really awkward open level, I think. Which makes it really hard to freeze the walls. I mean, I'm trying to stick near walls, but... Ooh, ow. Acid. It's not perfect. Uh... Oh, I don't think I can freeze this guy. Man, I definitely can't hit this invisible one, though. Uh... Okay, then. Oh, actually, this is not a bad spot to be in. The case being out next to a wall, so yeah, I guess I'll just stick around here for a little while. Um. Well, I've still got some magic at least. Oh, no, Joseph. Uh. Oh, he's got back in the spot where he can just shoot at me. Oh, man. I'm kind of getting low on magic points now, but I think I've got him. Ooh, I'm down to three magic points. I'm going to try and channel some, but it could take a few turns. I failed. Um, I'll bring in the Ice Beast. Hey, the channel worked. Excellent. There's quite a lot of stuff around me, though. Only some of them are getting frozen, which is maybe a bit of a problem. Um... Okay. I think Josephine had like the spell on there, but she didn't actually use it for some reason. And now it's time to I'll back up to this uh, wall. I'm gonna stick near one of the walls so did she have anything useful to her? Yeah, dumping magic, a dagger or venom. Heavy falchion on one of these guys? Nope, nothing that useful, unfortunately. I reckon the staircase on the exact opposite side of this level from where I am. Because you've got all three down staircases together. Sometimes you get the ones with like all three up staircases on one side, all three down staircases on the other. I reckon that's what this is. Alright, can I identify um no, he is not the most useful. Yep, there's one of the this is one of the staircases. Alright, this pack, this one's even lead somewhere that I've been. This is where I'm meant to be, dungeon level 9 again. Uh, that doesn't mean the creatures are any weaker though. There's a two-headed ogre right here. Alright, uh, character level 12. Come on, Zipmata, give me some spells. You know you want to. 
Uh, my piety's at the right level as well, so like in theory, could happen. Well, that ice beast gonna have to go around the long. Oh, I don't know how to go around the long way. Fine, I'll back up. It cost me a bit of magic points, but whatever. Uh... Hey, it's a gift. Sif Mana's Spellbook of the Spawned Caves. It's got in it. Blazard Golem, come on. Petrify, Bombard, the Light Gateway. Wow. The Light Gateway. Okay, my summoning spells are like <laughs> so many of them right now. Uh, I need my armor on, I think. There we go. Okay. That's fine. Uh-oh. No, not with these uh, steam dragons again. Well, there was a steam dragon, right? Can't to bring out the mind burst. Oh. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should just go up now that I think about it. Oh, no. There's another steam dragon here. Um... Mind burst is only like 60% chance of heading right. Hey, got it. I wish I had some fire resist, but um, we'll make do with what we got, I guess. Yeah, put on the barber class. Freeze it up. Mind burst it. Ooh, it's getting pretty close. There we go. I'll take my rope. Oh, was that anything special? That's a full on Hydra. Uh, yeah, I've got to move. Oh, he's probably shouldn't have hit it with the high uh the axe. Now that I think about it, but oh well. Uh it was fine. It died anyway. Um hey there. What can I do to this guy? Can I hit it with a mind burst? It didn't kill it. Oh, there we go. I just wanted to stay on my staircase because I wanted to be able to go up at a moment's notice and just be out of there. I thought it was minus fire on this, so if it hit me with this fire, it would do a lot of damage. What's this dungeon level 9? It doesn't feel like a dungeon level 9, but that's because it's got a special fault in the center. It feels more like a dungeon level 11, to be honest. But you do you do get the vault site, like those the ones that are, uh, kind of have stuff that's a little bit out of depth, like by a couple of levels. And it's quite noticeable dungeon level 9. Alright, hey there, Acid Dragon. <sighs> didn't notice me, did it? Someday will notice me. There we go. Now we can pull it in. I don't know all these steam dragons. I better go do something to it. Uh, am I getting steamed right now? I think I am, unfortunately. Oh, uh... Oh, another one has so many of these steam dragons. Ow. Am I out of the mind bus? Oh, come on. Okay. I guess I'll pull around this corner. Put on my armor at least. Hey, there we go. The ice beast snagged it as it came around the corner. Also, my robe. Um, yeah, I've just got a robe, so I'll put on the steam dragon armor. In fact, I should check if there's better robes around. Nah, okay. Well, steam dragon armor's not bad. Oh, I don't need the brand weapon. I do need the spell book. It's got toxic radiance, mercury vapor, sting. Come on, game. You know you want to give me some ice spells. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be able to get the ice spells going straight away, but it would give me something to, like, work on. It would give me an idea of my progress. Uh... Oh, 
Oh good, another identifier so I can identify up this one torment, which I can use because I am a mummy. Alright, let's head back down. So we've got Book of Blood. Apparently everything in that was useless. Um Cast Rook out in the open? I don't know about that. I might just leave him be. But this level in general is not massively great for this character. Uh That's how much openness there is to the level. Alright, we've got some sort of little pillar here at least. Uh, what has this ring got for me? Anything good? It's a ring of protection. I'm wearing... Intelligence and resist corrosion. I might keep those on for now. Um, actually, no, I might put on the protection instead of the resist corrosion. Kind of want the intelligence on, but it's all, uh, it's helping with the ultimate cube armor power. It's helping because it's some of the ice beast power, but everything else like maxed out now. You know, I might go to the lair. See what's, uh, see what's in here. Um. Okay. Freeze one of these guys at least. Rather a lot of stuff coming along. I gotta bring one more guy up. There we go. Yeah, I do wanna leave. Oh. I can't freeze these. I'm gonna have to back up a bit, but this is uh it's able to do a bit of damage to me as I'm back here, which is unfortunate. Alright, and there's one more Komodo Dragon in here. Do I have, like, the blink spell or something? I don't think so. Because that could be uh, quite helpful for pulling these guys upstairs. Um... Oh, actually, I don't need to pull this one upstairs. I can just find it where it is. Because it's the only thing around there. Okay. There's actually a reasonable amount of walls in the lair, Jen, really. Like, yeah, you can see there's, uh, this kind of... There's not, like, super thin passageways, but there are passageways. How's my willpower? No mummies are okay. 23% failure, uh, not failure, chance of getting me. That's actually not too bad, given I don't have any willpower items on. Book of the Moon, what's that, guys? Passage of Columbia in silence. I think it also has Crystal Spear, but I've already picked that up at some stage. Uh, oops. Trying to get all my buffs on. That's kind of how um, ice elementals work. You just kind of dump on a bunch of buffs and then watch things die to the cold. Uh, I need to be. Oh. I'll stay back here, I guess. Oh, wait. I could have been getting those guys with ice this entire time, probably. Eh, it doesn't really matter if they died anyway. There's a scary low number of walls in here. Uh, is guy gonna wake up? Good. Okay. Komodo dragon, follow me back. Oh, my tile changed to frost mage. Huh. They got 14 ice magic or something. That's not too bad. Um. Oh. Oh, the spousal trap. That's how I ended up all the way back there. Okay, then. It kind of put me in the way of trying to go anyway, so no complaints there. I kind of worried about, like, lidworms at some stage. Um. Because I got still negative fire. This book of Geomancy has an earth book, isn't it? Got a uh, Brom's Barreling Boulder and Sand Blast. Yeah, it is. Alright, I could do a shield as an awful light. That doesn't help me that much. I mean, it help me help with my axe, I suppose, but I don't know, it's Cataplephus. I don't think it does much else for me. Problem with Cataplephus is I rely so heavily on like staying in one spot because my buffs disappear if I move. Uh, I guess I can try fight one. 
Yeah, it's probably quite resistant to cold, but hey, I'm also quite resistant to cold. So I guess that evens out, right? Um, yes. Ugh. Time for me to move. I don't think it's even in a spot where I can freeze it right now. Hey, there we go. It's dead. I feel more powerful than the touch of death, but I don't have any death spells right now. Let's try the scroll. Immolation. I got, oh, three or whatever that scroll is, because I just gained two of them. If I'm lucky, that will be a requirement, but I doubt it. But sometimes you just, uh, you look at your, well, you, like, identify a scroll, it's just like, oh, you have three sacks of requirement or something crazy. Or th not three stacks, three scrolls of requirement. Uh, I should look at that outlet. I'm kind of vaguely looking for a magic region. What is this? Oh, it's blinking. Well, actually, finding two of those isn't too bad. It's a, oh, it's a fire resist acrobat ablet. I want to put that one on, I think. Give me neutral fire resist. Yeah, sounds like a plan. And acrobat's not bad. I mean, the regen's nice, but I was doing quite well with an acrobat before, so. Uh, something's got to have noticed me. Is this? Oh, it's not going to work very well. Ah, I've got to retreat back even further to get to. Oh, wall. Oh, come on. There we go. That gets me to a wall. Yeah. Top of sale should be fine. It's good to get rid of those ones as well. Hey, I found a mirror. I can use that. I'm not an Okamaru worshiper or something. I've done it like uh, I think I did off stream actually. I did an Okamaru worship it yesterday. Just trying to get that, trying to get that warp and win. I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't get any of the warp spells going. I did some pure melee and it was so much easier with the warper than actually trying to get the warper spells going on the warper, which is a shame. It'd be nice if the warpers could actually focus on warper stuff and do well, but not really. Wait, that was only the first level of the lair? Oh. I guess there's a lot of creatures because there was that one area. Oh, I shouldn't be attacking that guy with my axe. Give him making the mistake. I mean, the hydras are still dying, but. It's silly giving them the extra heads because, oh, I should actually retreat here. This axe is not flaming. I do have, like, a little flaming scimitar, I think, that I can swap to. I want to actually do melee attacks against hydras. Uh-oh. Um, okay. There's an alarm trap here, which is going to get set off, isn't it? I don't know if it made sense to dig into this wall because then, man, okay. Because then the catablephus would do the calcifying dust and I wouldn't be able to run away properly. Ah, oh, that's the question. What are you going to do? Tell, uh, teleport. Um, this is, oh, dead petrify me. Okay. Uh, I'm still marked as well, so the other creatures are going to make their way back to me eventually. Oh, so I've got a manual fighting? How do I still have that one? I should get some more fighting skill, I guess. Uh, how much is that actually costing? Like nine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I might be can get some other skills at the same time, so I can get more ice. Wow, I really need some better ice spells. I can get some more spell casting. Uh, I need a shield as well. That's probably why I've got so much skill left. Uh, this is not a bad spot to be, although... I will get, I will get, like, done in by Catablephus. Well, not so much done in, but I'll get petrified. It's probably fine. I'm in a nice little choke point. Um, just refresh my armor. Whoa. Hmm. I lost my, uh, freezing, unfortunately, partway through there, but I did keep my armor, at least. Do I have anything that can help against this guy? I might just zap these guys with some light, because I'm a bit worried about my health right now.
All right, that's in the trick. That nice little choke point. So we got an uh, invasion. I'm wearing, still wearing the potential, which is all right. Still wearing the intelligence. I might just keep with those ones. I have data for cold. I mean, I should probably pick it up just in case I get like an ice cave or something. But it's not massively important. Uh, I think I'm, yeah, I've got one point of cold resist and no points of fire resist. Yeah, it's probably still worth it for an ice cave. It's max force capacity of couple and dazzling flash. All right. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know about this, but I guess I'm heading back to my choke point. I just might be needing to, like, do a teleport or something. <laughs> Science pieces actually do reasonably well. Oh, get a book. Book of Rhyme. That sounds promising. That's got to have something good in it, right? I don't actually know what a book of rhyme has in it, but it's gotta be. It sounds like it's a cold book. Let's pick it up. So it's got Arthur Cuba's Refrigeration, Metabolic Glaciation, Hailstorm, and Castle Divination. Alright, well, I might better refrigerate some guys. Yeah, 6% failure. That's not bad at all. Alright, um, how was I going with that? Oh, I forgot to get my card abilities going. Okay. You know what, I might do that right now, actually. Uh, let's just get five points. Just try to get the channel magic going, because I feel like uh, I might actually have a good uh, way of using that up now. So these guys are all going to go berserk if I go in here, but they're guarding an artifact ring. I can't see what it is, but... Mm. Ghost is probably, yes, yeah, resistant to cold. So it's, uh, who's ghost? Lycaon's ghost. A demigod ice elementalist. Oh, a fellow ice elementalist. Wait, does that have any spells? No, apparently not. Strange. Who would go into Ice Elementalist and not take any spells? I don't know. Yeah, that guy froze to death. This is fairly pretty effective. I mean, those guys are kind of not grouped up, so they take max damage. Hey, two, two flashes of the Ozzycubus refrigeration kills that guy. Kills a Hydra. Uh, hey, Nurgle. Goodbye, Nigel. It does go through the magic points so fast, though. Do I have a ring for that? No, I don't have a ring magic points. Oh, well. However, I do have 30% fail on the channel magic, so that's looking promising. Man, this flash is kind of bright. <laughs> hey, Auric. Oh, she's taking cover with the snake, like, getting a bit of insulation. It doesn't need to matter too much, though. So, you know, this just does the trick. Uh... Wow, yeah, this is going through the magic points so much faster, but it kills the spiders. And the frogs. Even this guy. I mean, if I think, uh, if I meet things that are resistant to cold, it could have problems. Okay, let's get the ice magic, the spell casting, fighting again. I could probably do the invocations just to like 8 or something, let's see. Yeah, because I can't do the fighting, so Jesus, channel magic's still 90% failure, but it's like, kind of usable. Man, this, uh, this gift was well, uh, well worth it. Okay, hit that death yak. That was multiple death yaks. I should probably retreat back. Mm. <laughs> I probably won't quite kill it. Oh, it did kill it. There we go. Perfect. I'm a jailer. That's definitely a nice title, isn't it? I wonder whether I've had the like high tier ice titles. Not sure. Oh, I'm going to challenge some magic with this guy. Yeah, I mean, I should mess around with a Hydra. Might be able to run around in some circles, but I don't know. That's an entrance to the swamp, is it? Yeah. Just electric eels guarding it. Usually there's some more serious stuff guarding that one. But it varies. Like, sometimes there's some bog bodies or something, which would probably be quite terrifying for this character. So I'm pretty sure bog bodies are, like, resistant to calls or something. Hey, level 14. Excellent. My level's not doing too bad. I thought mummies would slow it leveling up, but maybe not. They don't seem to be. At least this one doesn't seem to be. Uh, let's quickly go upstairs get the magic points back. I don't have a ring of magic regen, do I? But I got a... Not an amulet, I mean. Not a ring. What am I saying? Oh, I didn't kill anyone. Uh, 
I got an amulet of like fire resistance or something, which is actually pretty helpful. Oh, hey, that's a shield that I just saw there. Um, it's a little buckler, but it's still a shield. And it's also... The target gives willpower the quick to a dragon armor. Uh, what's my failure chance? 4%. I'm going to try on the shield. What? Oh, the axe is two-handed, isn't it? I mean, the axe isn't quite as important anymore. Now that I'm refrigerating people. Okay, manual fighting's gone. Let's uh, stop. Oh, the fighting's already stopping at 16. Yeah, just... um. Because I think with fighting, it only really matters when you get it to hold numbers, so I might as well bring it up to the next hold number. We'll take a Charmy helmet here. There we go. Okay, Death Yak. Oh, they're all grouped up. There we go, it's not grouped to the others anymore. Because uh, if they're grouped up, they get they insulate each other. Or they have wall or whatever. I mean, every creature insulates other ones, so I don't think I can take them out. Uh... I think they get some insulation from walls as well, which could be a problem. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. There we go. Oh, there's another one, of course, but I got my magic bag, so it should be good. Oh, it's a dead end. I'm going to challenge the magic. Yeah, I mean, this spell like, completely changed up the way I'm playing this mummy. I'm now no longer struggling to kill things. I said I sometimes having challenge magic, whereas before I was really uh, not going through my magic points, but I was kind of struggling to kill things. So it's actually definitely a nice change. Oh, uh, hey there, guy. All right. All the floods just freeze. All those cold hearted mummies just freezing all the floods. I think Phantasm would not approve of this character. All the destruction to nature. Uh oh, I'm going up. <laughs> I round the magic points of the bear with Berserk. Will it still be Berserk? I think it cools down. I think bears are. I know the black bears definitely cool down. But yeah, the polar bears are probably maybe resistant to cold. They seem like they would be. Okay. That's alright. Yeah, the hydrants get slowed, which is so nice. Uh, it's probably more yaks. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to see, like, one yak on its own. They always come in packs, at least at this point in the game. Even, like, when you meet early yaks, they tend to come in packs. So, like, I don't know. So you don't have to meet shapeshifters early, so... Uh... What is that? That... Hold up. Charlatan orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it even tells you it's fake, you know, to pick it up first. Oh, I gotta challenge the magic. I mean, I could have tried killing that with some other things. I got a book. Uh, confusing touch. Okay. Now that the permafrost, which is the next spell I'm looking for. I'll pick this up. I'll take a look at it. So, this orb is the work of a master artificer contracted to retrieve the orb. Who valued their life more than their professional integrity. While this fake faithfully recreates the eerie glow and space warping properties of the true orb. It has no powers but to boost, but a boost to evocations. Right, so it massively reduces your stealth, which is what the orb does when you're carried around. It interferes with translocations, delaying teleports, which the um, orb result, the real one, also does that. Evo boost. It boosts your power of your evoked items. I think I heard that was the equivalent of 50% more skill, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, hey, Gale Guy. Oh, it's a fake ball. Yup. I don't know if I use it, honestly. Like, the delay on the teleport sounds kind of bad. I, I got a few ones. I got the light one, but I don't have that much in the way of ones. At least it doesn't have pandemonium lords, right? That's the only, I think, good thing I can say about this uh, fake orb here. Also, it's not animated like the um, actual orb was on, is it? In fact, I think that's the... Hold up. That's the old orb was on sprite, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the old orb was on sprite. 
I wonder whether you can give items like animated sprites. Huh. But it really does, does kind of stick out as like not being the orb of thought with how it looks. Presumably it's a placeholder because I think it's a very new item. Uh oh. Uh, actually, I can just run away. There we go, got out of there. Oh, are you doubt holding this orb and press the laws of pandemonium either? You don't think they'd be as mad about it? Yeah, because I mean, you're not actually stealing the real orbs of thought, so they've got nothing to be mad about, right? Uh, oh, I need one more magic point. Hey, there we go. No, I have, uh, I've actually played a decent amount of the game before while caroling the orb was on. I've done it, like, I think I did orb run extended once. So I think I got, like, uh, three or four runes. Uh, and then went into extended with the orb was on. And that was kind of funny. Uh, but you need a character with decent regen to be able to pull that off. Otherwise, uh, swarming enemies kind of do become a problem. That's not gonna kill that guy. Oh well, I did a did a decent job. Ow, still alive, that's fine. Let's get out of here though. Oh, it's the ending with a dragon. Um the swamp dragon will be perfectly fine, but often there's a fire dragon in there as well. I don't think it's guaranteed a fire dragon might sometimes be a dice dragon, not sure, but there's there's all there's often a fire dragon there which I don't want to fight. I don't have vulnerability to fire anymore, but I still don't have any fire resist. Unless I can get some from a reg. I don't need that amulet of reflection. Uh Man, I don't need the basic ammo of the acrobat because I got the fire this one the, right now. Nah, I got a cold resist ring, but no fire resist rings. Oh, somebody identifies this thing. I might as well figure out what this is. I don't have much stuff to identify, and I probably won't even get much stuff to identify now. Check. Oh, yeah, three more scrolls to go. So I need two more identifiers, I think. Uh, swiftness, airstrike, sure. I should check, is this polar bear resistant to cold? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a polar bear. Not exactly unexpected. I wonder what the Guardian Serpent was guarding, because, uh... It obviously wandered off, didn't do a very good job. It's like Azel, the forgetful Guardian. Just, I think Azel dozed off, but that one just wandered off. It was meant to be guarding some stuff. I kind of feel like the treasure vault might be in here. Is this actual real loot? It is too. Because I know there's one that uh, it has fake loot in it. Oh, there's, a, there's one of the scrolls. Can't remember what I had left to uh, identify, but I'll see what this one is. Brad Weapon. Alright, well, goodbye Brad Weapon. I probably don't need this axe anymore. Uh, let's try on the shield. So I've got 5% fail on the Oz Cubers up, but I'd probably need like 5 skill with the shields or something to make that actually work, I reckon. Oh wait, there's a bigger shield. But yeah, probably a lot of this game will just be like sizing up my shields. Um, I won't do the dragon right now, or should I? I gotta remember that one, there's, a, there's not a great chance of me remembering that. Oh yeah, the, the Minotaur's gone, isn't it? Yup. But I don't think I could have done that when I first uh, got this area. Those guys can't get out of there, right? The God who also... Oh, they can. That's fine. They don't stand a chance against being refrigerated. I still don't have anything to identify, right? No, I don't. Oh, I'm not going to have any inventory room, uh, problems with this character with my inventory because I I don't have potions. That's a nice thing about playing mummies, like, there's not too much nice things about playing mummies, but not having problems with your inventory is super nice. It's like, it's a quality of life thing. <laughs> uh... But yeah, it does mean I can't, like, haste myself up with this character, because I can't drink the haste potions. I mean, apparently, like, ancient versions of the game, but I vaguely remember, they were, like, wands of haste. 
And I definitely remember there'd be mods of heal wounds as well. And the old deep dwarves used to be able to use, um, well, they used to be able to recharge ones. But I think they had a chance of permanently reducing their magic points or something. But they'd be able to recharge their wand of heal wounds that they started with. And then they'd be able to heal themselves because the uh, deep dwarves couldn't heal naturally. But then I think that got changed with the wands of heal wounds were removed to just. Uh. I think they just got given ability. That's probably an unseen horror. Yeah, it's dead. Hey, look at this. The Staff of Gold. I'll take one of those. How's the power look in the refrigerate? 50%? I don't know. Not bad. Nice, I got tons of conferences right now. Oh, uh, I might bring this guy girl upstairs. Wait, do I refrigerate my ice piece? No, it's fine, isn't it? Good. So I got Arc Jolt, alright. Still looking for that power frost eruption, because I found that one really good last time we got to use it. Uh, yeah, I've definitely been on a caster, right? Oh, maybe not, actually, because I need some earth magic probably to get it castable. Last time I cast it, I was like a knoll or something, so... <laughs> there was less to think about. It was just kind of what level was the spell. Uh... And this character actually had to worry about spell schools as well. Alright. Feels kind of wrong refrigerating for a single orc, but it's my only kind of thing with any sort of range to it. Alright, there's the orcish mines, which is what I'm looking for. I'll just finish this level and then I'll head on in, see how the orcs are going. The wave? Oh, rave of fire? Maybe. I don't even know where it is. Do I have a... I don't have a magic mapping, do I? Huh. Very distant, that's not promising. Still very distant? Hmm. I just got, oh, polar vortex. I think that's a long way off, right? Let's take a look. It's 99% failure, but I do want to get a polar vortex going eventually. Uh. No, it's not looking promising. Oh, I've got to wait back my magic points. Still very distant? Okay. Uh, quick rumbling. Oh, it's distant. I'm going the right direction. Rapid. Man, I might just have to challenge some magic if I need some more. Rapid rumbling. Oh, it's nearby. I'm on the other wrong side, aren't I? Or is this the right side? Okay. I'm right outside. Let's go in. Before it collapses. Refrigerate's probably effective against a lot of the things in here. I'm just worried about, like, all the fire damage. Honestly. It's a classic mummy in a volcano. Uh... I don't want to be caught out like in the open when the volcano erupts and drops fire on me, but I probably will be. Alright, this is where I need to be, I think. I got a shadow of magic, because it's definitely not going to work without the shadow magic. Uh... Alright, so there's a trog holder here. There's another way out. Oh, there's a... How is the cold is this statue? Two... Come on. How do I kill the statue? Can I? Can I kill the statue? Hey, it's Nick, man. How's it going? Do you reckon I take on the statue? I don't know if I should. Some of the demons. I could give it a try. Too cold with this, though. Do I have any other forms of damage? I mean, this character's kind of limited on their forms of damage, which is maybe a problem. Why, mummy? Is he hard? Yeah, why not a mummy, though? I haven't done it. I thought I might do it while the, uh... The cold, what's it called? The power frost eruption is really powerful. Try and get my mummy ice elementals win now. That's... Nah. 
I don't think this is working. Maybe I can channel with some magic. But yeah, I figured I might as well do it while it's powerful. Um, gotta radiate. I do have it in my book, but unfortunately I don't have any conjurations, so... Um... Yeah, it's a little questionable. That might actually work. <laughs> hey, dude, I just had to channel with a bunch of magic. Uh, okay, the volcano is erupting. So, fire is this leather armor. Actually, I should put that one on. Uh, it's the Brothers some Castle. Got a fire resist. Nice. Boots of stealth? My boots are non existent. Okay. Nice. I don't really need those boomerangs, but oh well. I can't use the dragon form. Don't care about the potions. Don't care about a large tank of flaming. I think I'm done with this place. I don't reckon there's more wearers around the outside, but actually, I might just check. Because I do have one fire with this now, so I'm probably fine. Sh I should probably maybe think about getting the radio. Let me take a look. But, um, yeah, it's a good idea getting some other forms of damage. Oh, it's 78% failure. And that would be relying purely on the... Oh, yeah, I'm done with this place. Relying purely on the spell casting, I guess, to actually cast that. I'm just going to get out of here. I'm kind of hoping for the permafrost eruption, because that does uh, physical damage. And cold damage. So it actually works fine against things that are immune to cold. That looks kind of lethal in there. I might not go in there. Oh, stream is kind of laggy? Hold up. Let me see if I... My internet's been really weird today. Is that... Hold on, I gotta move. Is that any better? I just tried to close some of the stuff that was running in the background, see if that would help. Because that might be using internet. Alright, how's my willpower? Sitting on one pip? Yeah, I thought that one might be a little bit short, but everything else is pretty good on this character. I've noticed that my game was slightly laggy. I think that did help the game be slightly less laggy for me as well. I was over destruction, servitor, ball lightning, freezing cloud. I don't think I need the freezing cloud anymore, but it's not a bad spell. It's just got so many spell schools. Uh, makes it a little bit hard to get going. I know with my Noel character, I use Freezing Cloud with a lot of effect because Noel's don't really care about spell schools, right? So if a spell's got endless spell schools, and Noel just uses it. Uh, there we go. Nils is dead. Actually, I should check that, see if, like, uh, Steam isn't updating or something. Uh, oh, I've got it open in the background. I might close it. Do do do. Anything else open in the background? Might close Discord as well, just in case that's using my internet. Oh, that hasn't, hasn't changed the uh, lag at all for you? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've closed everything that was I uh, could be using my internet in the background. And let's see. Oh, I'm not losing frames. So it doesn't look like there's a problem on my end, actually. Uh... Oh, whoops. Yeah, looks fine. All right. Oh, it's an archer ending. I should be alright with all those. Actually, can I put on a heavier shield? No, I still got 4% fairly on the refrigerator, so probably not. I'd rather be able to refrigerate people effectively, rather than trying to uh, do anything else. Oh, you think your internet's going fine as well? Hmm... That's kind of a mystery. I mean, it could be a problem on uh, Twitch's end, because I know sometimes Twitch does weird stuff. In fact, Twitch is doing weird stuff today, because I opened up my stream to take a look at it, and the, like, the resolution's locked to 1080p for me, for some reason. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But yeah, it is. 
Because I should be able to, uh, I mean, I know when you're like just, uh, when you're not an affiliate yet, you don't get guaranteed to have the lower resolutions. But once you're an affiliate, you should be guaranteed to have the lower resolutions. But I've had this problem before where sometimes Twitch just refuses to give me the lower resolutions. But I think it might already refuse, like, for some people watching and, oh, I'm gonna challenge magic. Otherwise, these guys are going to get quite a few shots in. Oh, let's back up a bit here and get upstairs. What are all the shots where I've say, oh, scrolls. Scrolls are good. I can use those. I'll keep my money, though, and I'll look at, see what else is for sale. Um, Because I'm hoping for some spell shops around here. Oh, if the servers are stressed, partner streams are prioritized. Then affiliates and everyone else? Yeah, makes sense. So it might just be, a, it might be Twitch for some reason. I guess it's the weekend today. Um... And I should be sending all my stuff to, like, the Aussie Twitch server, I think. I don't think there's a New Zealand one. Uh, oh, the gloves here. What are my gloves? I don't even have gloves? Okay. Well, those are going to clearly be a straight upgrade from what I've got. Uh... Okay, no, uh, there's no spell books, but I can't grab the gloves. Stealth? Oh, well. Doesn't really matter what they are. Those are the potions. All the potions are scrolls. Also, I don't need the don't need the book of spheres anymore. All right. Well, that was fine. I got some scrolls. Uh, no blinking scrolls or anything, but these are all right. Uh, I might as well grab the size. I probably won't use it, but I've got the money, so it's fine if I grab it. I think. Where do I want to go? Let me go to Dungeon Thirteen, I guess. I love how I can just freeze these centaurs. It's so much better than if you don't get some higher level cold spells and you're trying to have to get close to them so you can do like the um, freezing of the walls and stuff. That's always really painful for killing centaurs. I need some magic points like right now. Because that goes faster than me so I can't run away from it. Oh, it's just a little shapeshifter. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a shapeshifter or not, because they seem to kill things quick enough that I don't think it gets too many chances to shift. Uh, hold up. Do I have a polymorph? <sighs> no, I don't. Uh, polymorph would be nice, because then I can change the color of this guy, stop being cold, but hey. I just have to live with whatever color it is. I think I need to challenge the magic. I can throw a curari at this guy. I feel like vampires are kind of cold resist, but it still died, so I guess it can't be too cold resist. What is this? Uh, Fugue of the Fallen, Marti is now Infestation. Well, this uh, permafrost eruption is definitely not wanting to turn up. Uh, that's probably an unseen horror. Yeah. Died in one refrigeration, it's almost certainly an unseen horror. Oh, no. He's got Holy Wrath? I don't want Rupert with Holy Wrath. Um... Just stay asleep, please, Rupert. Oh, good. Permafrost eruption. I gotta have to get some earth skill to get it cast by thing, but uh still 20% failure right now. Alright. Okay. Where's the earth? Bring the earth up to but I gotta try to get a good 10 points in earth, and then I'll probably just do the rest of cold. Distortion, that's alright, it should die. Good, before it gets up to me. Not very effective, but I... It's got a game of refrigerator. Actually, I could have tried a permafrost eruption on it. I might try a permafrost eruption on that guy. Hey, troll just died. Uh, 
Wait, I want to permafrost these guys. There we go. Oh, I probably should permafrost this guy. No, 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 I woke up Rupert. I'm going to try and permafrost him. Come on. Oh, no, didn't kill him. Hey, there we go. He didn't get a chance to berserk hit me with his holy wrath. Oh, man, that was kind of scary, though. Because he was getting rather close. How's that permafrost going at 11%? You know what? I might actually quiver up the permafrost. Nah, I won't quiver it up. Actually, maybe I will. Hold up. I might put the Ozicubus refrigeration on F and then quiver up the permafrost eruption. There we go. That way I can uh, either use just F or I can use Z and then F depending if I want the permafrost or the... Oh, good, let's scroll. Revelations. Uh, the refrigerate, okay. I mean, against a single target, this is so much more effective. Oh, that guy's got Holy Wrath, but it's not going to survive. Oh, that guy's out of pump frost range? Okay, sure. Oh, um... Ah, oh, man, I'm out of magic points again. <laughs> I need to get back somewhere because I'm currently mic'd. I also need to look at this ghost vault, see what we've got guarding in here, see if it's something I can actually do. God. Mm, wait, how do I say the name? Morpha D Shrews Ghost. Arbitor Fighter of Che. They do hit for 33 damage and they got a lot of AC. Oh, there's also like Boulder Beetle. And I don't think I need these spells right now. It's just uh I've got one of those books of application elsewhere. Uh I think it's probably for sale though. Maybe, maybe not. Well I'm sure I saw one of those books. I'm hmm. Kinda wish the permafrost eruption had like one more range, but I understand why it doesn't, because then it'll be hitting things off screen when it blew up sometimes. But uh, having one shot of like max range is slightly awkward. She should have just refrigerated all those guys. They were kind of spread out perfectly for it. But at least, uh, because the permafrost eruption can't hit something next to me, but at least I can just hit it with a refrigerate, right? Doesn't do quite as much damage, but it does do the trick. Oh, he miscasted it. They were in a like, perfect spot for a perfect frost eruption. Alright. Um, I might refrigerate those. Uh, uh, I don't know. They were kind of not quite grouped up, but they were like slightly grouped up. So either spell would have uh, ones where there was reduced damage. Man, this is super effective. I feel like Ice Mages are really good at the moment. Like, if you're wanting to play an Ice Mage, now's the right time to play one. Because uh, previously I was not liking the Ice Mage as much, but this, uh, this new Permafrost spells made all the difference. It's kind of given them some stuff they can do in the sort of mid-level spells to carry them through. Oh, I do need to channel in some magic, I think. Because uh... I used to have, like, Refrigerate, but that didn't work if the enemy was uh, immune to cold. It didn't work very well if it was very resistant or something. And then later on you get polar vortex if you could survive that long, but you kind of had to have another spell to carry you across, right? Alright, I might double the dodge. I've got to think about where to go. I've got to go... Uh... Actually, which branches did I get? I've got to go to one of the branches that I got anyway. Swamp or Spider Nest? Do I see invisible? No, I don't. 
Might go to the swamp. I reckon I'll be just fine in the swamp. Oh, where's, where does Snog go? I should be just fine against Snog. Yeah, two heads with a Barama Frost eruption. She doesn't stand a chance. Alright, don't need the slaying. Don't need the old robe. Don't need the light. Uh, I think the permafrost eruption always hurts, which is really nice. Guiding spirits of course, silly. Don't really need the decks or the invasion. Alright, that'll do. Do I need flight? I mean, not really. Because so I'd be a little bit faster at moving if I had flight. Oh, that's not ideal. But... It wouldn't help me attack things or anything. Oh, what have we got here? We've got... Moment of Strike, Flame Wave, Magic, done. Nah, those are all low-level spells that I'm not going to use. Oh, that's right. When I do the Permafrost Eruption in here, it brings out the little clouds of cold, which is kind of handy, because that can do a little bit of extra damage. Oh, I got a challenge of magic, because this dude's faster than me. It's a, this is a Spriggan Rider. Man, the Spriggan Rider is slightly faster than the Spriggan Rider. Go check what their speed is. Oh, well, it's like, I killed it anyway. Uh, but actually, pretty much everything in here is going to be faster than me, whether or not there's spriggans due to the water. What's my health? 138. So I do need to be a bit careful with bunny ups when I go down staircases. But apart from that, I think... I think I've got this under control. I'm gonna refrigerate some of these guys. There we go. Should I look at these geos because I'm just using a little buckler right now. So any buckler that's better than mine wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Challenge of Magic. Okay, I've got to just give him a refrigerator, I think. Ooh, that's not doing that much. Oh, it's got cold resist. Um. Hmm. I would like to look at this. I might start a teleport. Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Um. Hmm. Uh. I think I just refrigerate again. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go. That got rid of him. And I got back to the staircase as well, so I was ready to escape. Uh, that's right. I don't have to worry about mutations, do I? Because I'm a mummy. So, they might... Oh, it's, just, it's a plus two buckler, I think. It's a plus one buckler of positive energy. But as a mummy, I've got a very positive attitude anyway, right? They got all this resist negative. Uh, let's drop this. Let's drop the little buckler. Don't need one of those. Earth magic 10. That's where I need it. So I'll bring the ice up to... I think I had some sort of limit. Oh, 18. That seems a bit low. Let's bring it up to 20. Uh, might also bring the shield up to 10. But the next spell to get castable is probably... Oh, I need some magic points. Um, <laughs> probably going to be the Polar Vortex. That was always a bunch of fun. In fact, having a Polar Vortex out while I'm uh, getting things with the uh, Permafrost, that was pretty fun. Alright, what do we got? Protection of fire? What am I wearing? Protection of intelligence. I think I got like one fire protection, but the protection of fire isn't too bad. I think, uh, I probably don't need it in the swap. I know there's uh, will of the wisps that do fire damage, but I don't think there's a much else in here that actually does fire damage. These ghouls are probably quite resistant. I'm gonna challenge the magic again. Right. Challenge some more magic again. Uh... Getting rather close. I don't like that. I don't have the blink spell. Because I haven't found it. Um, at least I'll make sure I haven't found it. Mm. Alright, that's fine. Is this kind of where I need to radiate? I don't think I've got the skills for it. Uh, actually, let's not do a lot.
Yeah, no, that's not working. Um... I can't hide behind the goal, but that guy might be able to help a little bit. Um, oh, I don't think there's quite a perfect line to... Oh, there is a perfect line to shoot the light through, at least. I think this is okay. If I shoot another light... Still alive, but... Come on. There we go. Yeah, the goals, once they get out to me, I basically don't have a way of damaging them anymore. Maybe a problem. Like, ghouls are usually fairly rare in the swamp. Um, so I think there's a good chance I don't run into any more of them, thankfully. But no, the permafrost takes me out because it's half physical damage. Oh, right. I need one more match point. I'll just run back a little bit. So we got a staff of air. I have no resistance electric. Um, I'm liking my staff of cold. But I guess I'll have that in my back pocket in case I need to pull it out. Alright, well it's level 3 of the swamp done, so I'll just go down again. Uh... Hey, it's a spell book. Uh, it's a tome of points and imprecation? What's imprecation mean? It books away there's such funny names in this uh, game. It's got dispersal, sigil binding, and lesser beckoning. I don't think I'll... Uh, I'm not in a hurry to get into translocations. Uh, doesn't mean I won't get into it, but I'm certainly not in a hurry. All right. Challenge some more magic. I almost got that guy, but not quite. That's the thing I love about Sif Mata, though. It really doesn't matter if you're having to tell him quite a bit of magic. And I did get, oh, I got that on 5% failure. I should probably try and get it down all the way. In fact, I don't think I need those identifiers anymore, do I? No, I don't. Uh, you know, because I have an identify. Oh, nothing left to identify? Huh, I can't even identify the potions anymore. I thought I might as well use one of potions and see if I've got it, but nope. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Final tells the magic. But unfortunately, I'm next to this guy. If I step back, it might let me... No, it's not going to let me back. I thought it might because it has, a, like, a boulder cold or something that it might do, but it didn't want to. It just wanted to follow me. Uh, okay. I can't lignify to fight Roxanne, so... I also don't need her statue form, so I might just leave her be. Hopefully she's not blocking where I need to go. Uh... Because I think she's pretty cold resist, so I'd only be able to get her with the, um... The permafrost eruption. And that would only work if I wasn't pulled next to her, which she loves to pull you next to her, so... Yeah, probably I would be the most effective against her. Uh, I don't know if she could kill me with one crystal spear, maybe if she max rolled it, so yeah, definitely not wanting to go next to her. Alright, uh, that thing's not too bad. This has got a whole bunch of hydras and stuff. Uh, there's actually a reasonable number of bog bodies as well, which you don't always get in the ending. Alright, what have we got? A little bit of money. That's fine. Spellbook I've already read. I mean, that's not a surprise with Sif Mana. I've been gifted a decent number of spells by now. Hey, there was, a, there was a hidden rune. What's that? Just a little bit of money. I didn't even think I was going to get a rune there. So I got a hood of the assassin. It's a plus two hood that lets you detect creatures. Gives you stealth and lets you stab with anything. I mean, I'll lose like an armor class if I put it on. But I'm kind of keen to be able to detect creatures. 
Not that the stabbing's not going to help me, but... Hey, it's kind of nice to be able to see where things are. Alright, done with the swamp. I guess I'll head to the spider's nest next. Um, I can't go invisible, which is a bit of a shame. I'll stop first. No, I'll keep the cold one. Don't think the stuff burst gives any resists. Um, normally spells are cold, only somebody spells are earth. Alright, we got the lightning rod, so we got a lightning rod, a phantom bird, a condenser vein. Don't have a violet floods or a gels gara tambourine or whatever it's called. Oh wait, uh, I need some magic points. How about this? Actually, what do I do against the simulacrum that gets next to me? That's actually a problem, isn't it? How fast is this one? It's going to be reasonably fast, isn't it? Oh, man, I didn't think that through. Okay. Oh, there we go. I can hit the one that's one back for the one next to me. Uh, wait, I failed the channel magic, didn't I? Uh... Malia Simulacrum. I guess I can hit it with a lightning rod, maybe? I'll just try to pull something else out. Um... I don't know if this being massively effective or anything, but oh well, I got there in the end. Ooh, didn't quite die. Alright, um... That's fine. I'll just hit this one guy with a lightning rod as well. I need to maybe try and look at some other, into getting some other spells. Whoa, what's going on there? Just, uh, just a bit laggy, I think. Alright, oh. There we go. Kinda low on health. Uh, might just retreat back a bit. Uh, let me check these spells. I think, I mean, it's okay. I do kind of want to get the Radiate going, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's still the wrong spell scores for this character, which is a problem. Well, the Pulse Vortex is 95% failure. That's going to be a way off. Right. Um, Conjuration Alchemy. Am I ever going to use those for anything else? I'm not sure I am. Yeah, because uh, the Pole Vortex is not a Conjuration spell. Not, a lot of nice little ones are, but not, not the Pole Vortex. Um, we getting a little bit of Alchemy is fine. If I need to. Yeah, it's not sure. It's uh, not convinced that it's the right thing to get. I mean, I get a, I get a radio with most characters. I haven't done many... Uh, Ice Mages, so I'm not really sure what the right sort of skill against for one. The Resist Electric 3 Intelligence War Axe. Um... I might drop the, uh, the stuff there and pick this one up. It could be a Resist Electric source. Alright, well let's first of all the spider nest done. It was a little bit sketchy with all the simulacrums. Okay, that's fine. Fortunately, the spider nest does love to surround you, right? Uh... Alright. Pull this guy up. I think you've got enough magic points, so I have to challenge the thing. Oh, we should have some stage to check what titles they can get with this character, I think. In fact, I should probably go do that right now. Uh, I don't know if I added the bot to chat. Let me just check on that one. I don't think I did, though. I was in chat now. Um, What titles are they going for? I mean, there's shield ones. There's... Check ice, but I'm not sure about that. 
I've had, okay, I've had Highly Combustible, Shaw, Covert, Archmage, Mark's Mummy, Mary Mummy, Metal Mouncer, Mummy Bouncer, so I've had throwing, I've had rage weapons, or oh, Mummy Mishaps, I've had the Quasal one for low piety, Mummy Porcupines, I've had the Pole Arms one, Pharaoh, um, yeah, okay, it's, I think, an unarmed one, and Pro Tro Digiter is for us. Don't know if there's anything special with, like, the general skills. So go take a look, though. Um. Had the merry one. Chub doesn't exist anymore. All right. Uh. I can't get the... Wait, I theoretically could get Shapeless, maybe. I'm not sure. Actually, not sure shape-shifting is even a skill. I'll be even played Walker, I think. If I had Mummy of Death, I mean, I don't think so. There's very little pickings here. Well, it's ice, anyway. It's probably just something fairly generic. Glaciator, yeah, pretty sure I've had that one. I mean, I could try for the... Uh, what was it? I could try for the Necromancy one. Apparently, I haven't had that, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just double check that shape is not a skill that I can ever get. No, it's not. So I can't get a shapeless mummy or anything. That's fine. No. Okay. Ah, I'll do magic points again. <laughs> Oh, I should probably just go up, get my magic points, instead of running around out of magic points. Um, I mean, there's probably other gods I could get a low tier title for. I might not have got like a low tier Rue title or something. I don't know. Like a low piety one. And a low piety Rue one's uh, not something you can get while normally worshipping Rue, because getting rid of Rue piety is not really something you can do. So you have to, well. I don't know, grab them later on or something if you want the low piety title. That's probably something I can do. Because Invocations is a useful skill for this character. So I wouldn't exactly be wasting my skill if I did that. Whereas if I try going for the Necromancy one, I'm not sure that there's really Necromancy that goes well with, like, having Polar Vortex and stuff. Uh... Oh, well, it's another guy. See, unfortunately, all these spiders like faster than me, so... <laughs> yeah, there's no running away to go get magic points or anything. Why am I carrying around these javelins? I don't think I'm gonna use javelins. Oh, actually, have I had the mummy Balster? I have to. I've had so many of the unique mummy titles. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I've been getting that many god titles for the mummies. Uh, drop the axe. I don't think those are useful anymore. They don't really need to be dropping items, do I? I don't think my inventory is even full. No, actually, it kind of was. Uh, going on the next staircase, but going back down that same one would be too terrible an idea. Alright. Keep on freezing. I think I got everyone with just refrigeration spam. Oh, she's not quite within range. Uh. Oh, don't net me up. At least the net didn't last very long and I was able to get back up. Well, web, whatever it was. Kind of similar now, I think the... Because the nets could get anyone of any size, same with the webs now. Uh, I think there was a few differences, like, in terms of... Storm form can be get, got by a net, but can't be got by a spider's web or something. And something like that, because the mute can stretch it, which weirdly doesn't protect it from nets. Because they're like Faraday nets or something. 
Wait, where's Ragnish she's blinked? In fact, her blinking is actually good, because it keeps her a good distance from me, which is exactly what I want. Given I think dumping the permafrost on her is one of my more effective things to do. Now, oh, right out magic points. Of course. So I got cool get I'm familiar. Uh yeah. Just complete my set of something. Uh oh. Uh I got a refrigerate here. I got a challenge of magic. I feel like she's gonna get up to me rather quick, but I can drop some purple frost while I can. Ooh. Yeah, there she is up to me. I'll refrigerate her. Oh, I don't have any magic points. Okay. I'll refrigerate her again. Oh, don't kill her. Ow. She's almost dead. Is she resistant to cold or something? She is. I'll try refrigerate again, but I'm a bit worried about this. Oh, she didn't die. Um. I think I pulled out the blink scroll, actually. I'm not liking where my health is right now. Uh. I know she's like almost dead, but she's just not dying. What's the range on a primal wave? I wish it was a number instead of having to count these. That's seven. I don't know. Probably seven. Um. So this is the poison. Okay. Don't know as much I can hit it with right now. Not regenerating massively fast. Uh. I just let it get a little bit closer. There we go. I can hit it with... Oh, I can't hit it with the... Oh, I finally got it. Well, that was uh, stressful. The whole cold resistance and everything. I don't need a statue... Not a statue or talisman or anything. Um, I gotta go grab the polar vortex. Even though it's not quite gasping yet. 87% failure. That way I can watch it getting more castable. I don't my other spells, I think I'm 1% failure, which is not bad at all. Uh, let's give them refrigerating these guys. There we go. That cleans them up pretty nicely. Alright, I should go up and get my magic points back. Step back a little. Oh, oh no. I think how this guy got with that, um, what's that thing called? The, like, the soul bound, so it's gonna turn into simulacrum. I don't think I can just charm it, can I? Nah, okay. Sure. Uh, I guess I freeze it to death and just hit it with a wand of some kind, like a wand of light. I have a more effective one to be maybe the mind. No, that's no mind. That's like a mind burst it. Can I just smack it? No, that doesn't do much because I got a freezing weapon. I might do some lightning rod. There we go. But yeah, it's kind of sad having a uh, creatures that I just simply cannot hit with my spells, at least not when they're next to me. Okay. I'll just bring this guy up. So I still got Nicola wandering around. I don't have a resist electric, but I can put one on. And I can read the silence if I need to escape, but it doesn't help me kill him. There we go. Alright, I can swap back to my stuff cold for a little bit more damage of my spells. Uh, he usually has gloves and... 
a cloak, right? So I should go check those ones out. But I probably saw him die, so I can take a look. There's a plus two cloak. That's probably his. It's on the right level. What are those pitted gloves? Oh, they're, oh, they're in with those guys. That's quite a tough looking group of creatures, but... I should go get that cloak. Oh, the gloves are probably going to have to wait a little bit still. Right, the soul belt should be should be worn off by now. Good. Uh... Good. It's nice getting those ants on their own. At least somewhere where I can escape if I need to. So there's the cloak. Go upstairs, put it on. It was the cloak that was the yeah, my cloak something special. Do I want to put on the probably maybe want to put on a shield? Let's see. So I got eight shield value. Uh ten evasion. I put this one on. Got eleven shield value, nine evasion. It's a mild improvement. My spells have got a slight failure on them though now. Actually, I should go up here so I can kill this guy without getting soulbound because uh, soulbound one of those would be pretty nasty. Cold's getting kind of expensive. I might just get a little bit more fighting. Uh, a little bit more shield. A little bit more spellcasting and then I'll get back to the ice magic, I think. Uh, well, I'm currently slowed, but I think this is fine. I think the only people that don't get slowed by those, uh, those guys are former sense. Alright. Because there's no resistance or something to resist slow. Well, not exactly. Also, magic regen. I still got the fire resist. Oh, I think I should keep the fire resist on. Magic regen's fine, but I've been doing just fine telling magic, so eh, it's not massively important. Unless I was wanting to like go for a turn count or something. <laughs> Which I don't think is massively impressive for this character. I picked up Mephitic Cloud. Uh, I don't think I'll worry about that one. I mean, mummies are not bad with Mephitic Cloud because they can just target themselves and it won't affect them because they're immune to the poison, but I still don't think I'm worried about it. I should just go upstairs and get my magic back. These guys clearly haven't noticed me or anything either. Uh, I don't like how low my magic's getting, but it's just enough. I might not see the single ghost moth. I might have just got really lucky. Oh, hey, dude. Um, Sterian the Fallen King. He's got a spectral base, but I think he's not too bad. Whoa, is he not at all resistant to cold or something? <laughs> that was not only really too bad at all. That was an absolute slaughter against him. Ah, oh, right. There's a ghost moth. Wait, I can end up with a permafrost eruption. Yeah, got my magic points. Of course it did. Um. Well, it was only a matter of time before I got a ghost moth. I'm just hoping there aren't huge numbers of them or something. They sort of radiate. I mean, the radiate does a lot of damage when those guys do it. But getting contaminated doesn't really matter that much to the mummy. I can't get mutations, so I basically just get tiny bit of stat drain temporarily ooh uh hat of willpower and cold resist is my willpower suboptimal that might be alright there's a rune I can't really wear a guy like I lose a couple of armor class I think it's the main problem but getting more willpower could be good boots of willpower though these could be good what are my boots stealth yeah let's get the boots of willpower uh strength maybe makes the spells a little bit more cast but it doesn't do that much I'll drop the old boots right Actually, I'll keep that shield round. 
Three willpower's not that bad. Um, because I'm about to be heading into the vaults, I do believe. Oh, the Glaive of the Guard. I've never got to use that. It used to have, like, plus 5 AC, but it doesn't anymore. Oh, the Sega Spiders as well. Yeah, I'm not the right character for that. It's two-handed. It's both spectral and electrocution. It sounds alright, but... Mm. Oh, um, the Kimbak me. Can I get, like, the Yars or something? I probably don't have the spell schools for it. I don't even have Yars. You know what I might put on the hat? I mean, Cobra, this is fine. It's, yeah, it just brings me down a bit of my armor class. It'll be fine. Four willpower should basically stop me getting marked, apart from, like, traps, I guess. Oh, uh, I might need a few more magic points here. Oh, hold up. I am not wearing my resistant electric. Let me quickly put that one on so that I don't just die to this guy. Uh, that guy's got a recall. I might just... try to escape. I'm not doing a massively good job of escaping here, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I'd re uh, not recall channel with even more magic, unfortunately. Oh, it's not channeling magic anymore. All right. Maybe now I can get out of there. Oh, man. Uh... Wait, this Norris. Um, he likes to drain magic, so there's probably a good chance he can have to channel some in at some stage. Yeah. He's draining my magic, dude. Okay, I think I can kill him now, though. Uh, hold up. Oh, that doesn't hit the brain. I'm just gonna have to refrigerate everyone. Hey, there we go. That hits the brain. That's more like it. Oh, drop the level. This looks fine. Uh, looks like it's easy to run all the magic points. So it's just like traps a little there. So this guy's got holy wrath, so it's not going to get up to me, so it's fine. I just don't want to meet like menace or something. <laughs> That's the problem with being an unholy species, is that the things with holy wrath do so much damage. Uh, do I have to channel? I probably have to channel. Oh, well maybe not, actually. I didn't realize I was going to hit him one, uh, kill him one hit. Uh, it's kind of harmless, channeling in magic. Uh, hold on, I actually still do need to get gifted a bit of stuff. Oh, can I not do death doors above me? I don't think that's the thing I can do, actually. It's fine. Do I have shatter yet? That would be useful. And I don't have Blink yet, so those are probably the only two things that would actually be useful. I should get the apportation. What? Did I click on that? I don't know. Didn't do it, I think. Alright, there's another gift. We might have one of the one of the things that are Shatter or Blink. It has... Oh, it has Shatter. It does. That's kind of nice, so if I get, like, a bad layout or... Actually, I had a number of, uh, like, vaults with guys inside that I might want to go back and do at some stage. There was the one with the fancy gloves, I think, at some stage. Okay. Kind of silly refrigerating frost hearts, because I'm pretty sure they're cold resist, but... You know, it's the best way of killing the stuff next to me. Oh, I was trying to just... There we go. Uh, they're not next to each other, so I'm going to have to refrigerate. There we go. Oh, 
That worked in the end. Yeah, every time you get those guys out of sight, they uh, split up, which is nice. Ooh, that guy can't get to me, right? Pretty sure. How are you even about to get in here? The oh, are diggable, so you could dig into there if you wanted to. You might be able to just stand up randomly in there if you teleported, I'm not sure. Because it's got escape hatches down, which suggests that you could end up teleporting into there. Because if you could already get in there... Oh, I guess you could get in there by... Yeah, I don't know. Usually when there's, like, escape hatches down, it suggests there's, like, a way you can end up in there. Um... Oh, it's Scotch? All right, they got these books that they don't need. freeze this guy but i guess everything i'm doing is just freezing it's just get different kinds of freezing does it want ice landing on his head or does it want the moisture oh not the moisture the cold suck down of the air around it well that might oh, i almost got there counts top the guys i guess Okay. I freeze this guy doesn't do much. Does enough, but it was just kind of a shame that it was already up to me. Oh, 82% of the ball of Onyx. If I got like uh all the fire uh I don't think I worry about a fire resistance though. If I got like a ring of wizardry or something, would I be able to get the Paul of Onyx going? Who knows, maybe. Oh not enough magic points. That guy almost got his recall off as well because I was out of magic points on that one turn where I was, where I was recalling. Uh... Can I just keep running back this way as much as I like? How many spells do I reckon it would take to kill this guy? I don't know. 20 magic points is probably enough. Yeah, there we go. Right, there's lots of things that ring, uh, not, not ring, man, what else is saying? There's lots of things that willpower, but my willpower's doing really well with this current helmet on. And the lag cannon, what many of those I've got this time around? I can go check. That's one of them. But hand cannons definitely feel way more common than they used to be, which I love. It's actually kind of nice, because uh, there isn't really a lot of any, well, there's not really any other option if you're trying to do it, um... Ranged one handed build or something that could hit pretty much anywhere. Uh oh, hold up. Oh, I failed the challenge of magic. Um, I gotta quickly change to the resist electric one. I think I'm gonna teleport out of here now. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't really like being locked in those rooms, but it's uh, it's, it's kind of a unique sort of mechanic. Like, I like that it exists as a mechanic, it's just always really scary when it does happen to me. That's gonna be fine, that's not so fine. They must have miscast or something, uh... Yeah, of course, there's still this giant left. Everything else is not as cold resist. Alright, put on the resist electric. Where's the Thunder Hulk? There it is. And it's dead. Now, there's a lot of things just guarding this book with Manifold Soul, Gels Gravot, and Disjudge and Wait in the Book of a Warp. Didn't that used to have slightly different spells? It's always had that. It's always had Manifold Soul and Disjudge and... Huh. He said now the Manifold Soul is 7th uh, level, so I've never actually got the new Manifold Soul castable, unfortunately. Yeah, because uh, I tried so many Warpers, they all just died. But the one Warper that lived never got, never cast any spells, so... It didn't feel like the casting the spells of the Warper was very effective. I might have to do a character where I pick it up at, like, high level or something. 
and don't use it beforehand. I feel like that's kind of the way to go. That of War Gaga is resistant to calls, isn't it? Uh, oh, that's Yara's. At some stage, I want to get Yara's. Because I can't drink cancellation potions. This is kind of my source of cancellation. Uh, I might also get the Irradiate. I just probably get a little bit of alchemy. Oh, that's going to make the difference. See, I'm trying to get a pole of vortex, but oh, it's a white, ugly thing. I guess I just refrigerate it, but it doesn't feel the most effective. No, it's doing nothing. 80% fail the pole of vortex. Okay, what else can I do to this guy? 80% fail the radiate. I'm afraid some spiders. Oh, they didn't work so well. Hold on, I can still summon an ice beast. There we go. That's more like it. Oh. <laughs> Not quite enough magic points still, but oh well. Uh, I had a bit of this card. I was like stealth or something on it. It was like a, a artifact one. It wasn't that special, but I don't think I'm wearing it anymore. I was wearing it for a while. Yeah, there it is. That one. Probably drop something. I think I dropped the regen. If I switch, it'll be the magic uh, regen I put on. Also, I don't need so many coal resist rings. In fact, I... Uh, yeah, I don't, probably don't need any of the coal resist rings, to be honest. This guy's got holy wrath. That's fine. I'll just tell the magic. Because if I go off the staircase and I come back down, it risks putting me next to the guy. Probably would have been fine to just run back to the staircase. Okay, so a robe of fire resist. Hold up, what am I wearing? Leather of fire resist. Plus four, it gives resist negative when it tells better. Resist corrosion. Oh, it's Boris. I think I want his robe. Uh oh, hold on. I remember him up. Oops, that's not quite right. I don't want him to get next to me because I don't think I can really damage him. Hey, there we go. This is over again. I kind of not very good against him, but I can take his robe. That was a that was a good robe. All right, let's drop the old one. So I guess I get a yeah, I get a little bit of armor class out of that. Ooh, hey X two. Uh. I should probably have another fire resist on while fighting X two. Uh. Um. Oh, how's my willpower? It's good, right? Zero percent paralysis. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I have a whole lot of magic points. I can drop. Oh, I just tell magic. There we go. I might just go use this. Hmm. Oh. Hey there, elephant. Why is there a elephant here? This means Marjorie, right? Kill the elephant. Oh yeah, that's Marjorie. Uh, Challenge the magic, I think. Where is she? She should still be following me. Except she gave up for whatever reason. She must have seeing me challenging magic and got scared or something. It's probably all these walls where I get out of sight for a little while. And I do have a little bit of stealth, so I guess that works. Uh... Okay. She no longer exists. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Do I still have the fire this on? I should probably take that off. Probably put it on the protection again. I mean, it's fine either way, actually. Got the demon trying to flaming the fire dragon scales. Uh, nah, I'll keep with my Karanaba. It's not like I need huge fire resist in here generally, apart from when I got eggs to her and Marjorie. Those are, I think, the only uniques in here that need fire resist, though. I need this Ludworm's one fire resist is more than enough for those. 
Feels kind of weird having like enough willpower because I've had so many characters recently where getting willpower was such a big issue and I did, didn't manage it. Oh, this character is kind of strolling around with four willpower. In fact, that means I can definitely do the Elven Halls next because I'm not going to get banished. Uh, let's check out the weapon shop. Unless it's an elemental style for something, I think I'm not needing it. Unfortunately, no elemental styles for me. The last time I saw an elemental stuff was a trog worshiper. So, <laughs> didn't quite work out. Ooh, arcane power. Um. And a bit of charred army as well. Hold up. He doesn't char these gloves. So, I've got. I can drop the brand weapon. You can probably drop some stuff. Uh, drop that how much? The quakes that were dragging the scales, they don't need it anymore. I don't know about this challenge at all. Seems pretty questionable because they don't use my wands much, which is what it enhances. Uh, so I got the amnesia. I haven't amnesia did anything up because I had so many spell levels. But anyway, let's magic map this out. If I can, I've got four revelations. I don't have that far to go, do I? But. None of those guys even woke up. Well, that's fine by me. It's worried that me casting spells here will wake some of them up. I'm not going to spread out like that. I might as well hit them with the refrigeration. So it's a distant magical pool. Does that look distant? I mean, it's kind of the only option on the level. So I guess it's uh, distant, right? Alright, anything else I want to drop? So I've got a good 9 inventory slots, so... Ah, probably doesn't matter. Let's just go on in. Someone's guarded. Wait, who's guarded? What did I actually say? Irrigia's formal guarded. This one's not too bad. It does have a lot of archers in it. But... I don't think that's going to be a problem. I know I can have some landovers, which can be a problem with all the trees around. Oh, oh, there's a blink. Alright, where is it? Five percent failure. Uh, eh, it'll do for now. I probably should at some stage get that a bit more castable, but yeah, uh, yeah, it'll do for now. If I put on a lighter shield, I wonder oh I need magic points. Uh I wonder how castable my Oh, oh challenge the magic points, I guess. It's kind of a shame because it was almost dead. I could have just used a wand, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. If I put on... I don't think the polar vortex would be castable even if I put on a smaller shield, so I think I'll just stick with a larger shield. Can't eat fruit, can I, as a mummy? We briefly stare at the fruit pile and sigh. Yeah, no, no fruit for me. I don't know if there was a pile of spare bandages or something, I might be able to use it. The Orlando wasn't too bad. Oh, there's more fruit here. It doesn't give me the message again. Interesting. Must be too soon since I last looked at a pile of fruit. Hey, that spellbook's got something. Not just bog. Arigian's not just bog. And Arigian's formal garden. That checks out. I didn't demon work. I don't know, I feel like I got some of those already, but maybe a trove will want it or whatever. Yeah, there's more fruit pile that I can't eat. And there are potions in here that I can't drink either. Uh, I think I'm done. Let's just get out of here. Oh, I mean, that was actually pretty easy. Oh, potions and stuff for sale. I guess that's one way of identifying them, you just buy them, but it seems a bit silly. We've got Cactus Giant? Sure. I'll add it to my stash of summoning spells that I seem to have way too many of. Uh, oh, this guy's got a recall if I leave it. I better just kill it. Oh. 
Okay. Actually, hitting these guys with like Bob of Frost and Rupture is pretty good. It's kind of funny how like having uh, one guy here, then one guy like at the edge of vision. If there was just a guy at the edge of vision, you wouldn't be able to hit him with the Bob of Frost. But if you have the other guy like standing where this one is, you absolutely can. Like with that elephant, they like, hit the elephant despite it being at max uh, range. I find that kind of strange. Yeah, because the fact that you don't, like, get to uh, pubs the target spell actually kind of effectively reduces range. Kind of funny. Anyway, uh, I don't know if it really makes sense to challenge magic, but I can't be bothered running these guys around, but I've got all the spells I need gifted anyway, so... Don't actually really need too much more party. Uh... Oh, this is level 4 of the vaults, so pretty much done with the vaults. And almost time for the Elven Halls. I mean, there's still a little bit more of this level left. Oh, including some undead. Those are always kind of resistant to what I'm doing. They're also kind of slow, so like... <laughs> they're not too bad. I gotta use the power Frost to take them out, because, uh... The refrigeration certainly is not going to do it with all their coal resist. Hey, Sam Ruka. It's probably fine. Oh, Miss Gus. Uh, oh, time to challenge the magic. Oh, that's a Miss Gus. Um, yeah, this is fine. By the best chance, but I'm gonna have to challenge some more magic. Wow, okay. What is the miscast failure on the. Oh, it's 1%. Okay. Oh, it's 69% on the polar vortex. That's getting there. Um. Yeah, it's time for the uh, with the Halls. I have a feeling that this power frost eruption is gonna be fairly effective against these elves. Okay. So we've got. What's his name in here? Azor. He can hit me with the. Um, damnation, like he's doing right now. But he should be, yeah, weak to the cold or whatever. <laughs> Do I need to worry about dancing weapons? Uh, I got the irradiate down to the 26% failure. Oh, I'm still getting it even better than that, so maybe not. Uh, it's a little sketchy, but I guess once they get next to me, because I don't think freezing does much now, that barely does anything. But once it gets next to me, I can probably irradiate it. Okay. Oh, that actually pushed me away. That's kind of useful. At least it's sent me to the best. I mean, I guess I still can be sent to the best by distortion weapons, right? Despite having good willpower and everything. There does seem to be a lot of the distortion weapons in here. Okay, got some Holy Wrath, of course. I don't think many of the elves. Apart from the Blade Masters, I'm very good at their melee attacks. Oh... Okay. Uh, radiate, good. I think I'm gonna have enough magic points here. Oh, he did just enough magic points to take out the Earth Elemental. Hey, I might get some, like, nice rings or something from some of these elves. Uh, I don't feel like I got a lot of power on that irradiate. Yeah, 21%. <laughs> it does do the trick, but yeah, it's not very powerful. Alright, uh, 65% on the Polyphonix. Polyphonix would take out, uh, dancing weapons if I got it going. But I don't think I'm quite getting it going in time. This guy's a mute called the Dynamo guy. Bad this mute dome, I think all the elemental damage. Whoa. Oh, I have no resistance electric, so these guys are absolutely frying me. That makes sense. It's questionable. I'll put on the resistance electric. How much does that reduce my damage? 
So I do um, two times forty ten with the permafrost. Uh, but if I put on the staff of cold, I do. Oh, it's 40, uh, tw two times 40, 12, right? That does make a difference. So what I'm looking for, I guess, is uh, another source of resist electric somewhere. One closer, come on, weapon. Don't want to get it too close. Those guys are it's a little bit scary trying to get those ones in a good spot. Uh, okay, good. I killed the mace, but I'm not going to do the whole blades with this character. That would be a bad idea because I do struggle a bit with the weapons. Oh. Actually, that guy hitting me with the spells on the second time wasn't too bad. First time was maybe not the best. So maybe I should go grab those, uh, the gloves. Because there were some gloves. Hold up. That's going to disappear. Because sometimes that doesn't disappear. Uh, let's go take a look. I know there's some artifact gloves somewhere. I think I've got everything I need to go fight these guys. At least I sure hope so. Where's going to put me? Oh, other side, okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe. That's not a lot of magic points right now. Um, okay. That's not very far for that blink to take me. Try the spiders on the sky. Oh, there's more things in here. Oh well. Uh kinda down to tell a bit more magic. Yeah, there's a reason I should have probably chatted that open. Probably would have been easier. Just uh chat this open then go and uh the boots of flight. I've got the boots of willpower. I get the boots of willpower. All right, where are the gloves? They're buried under something here. So the gloves are covered this for this negative. That's not that impressive. I'd lose two armor class for Colvardus. I don't think that's worthwhile. Especially since my Colvardus is like three already. Uh, oh well. What other transporters do I have? Wait, is this the one I, this is what I looked at, right? Minotaur and stuff, but I think this is doable. So this guy, like, actually resistant to cold or something. Oh, huh, yeah, of course it is. Uh, I feel like it's saying that much damage. Like, everything else is dying, but this guy is not. Alright, there we go. So I got rid of it. So it's got a, some sort of book that apparently I still need necrotized. Well, that's not that important. So I actually know about the potion lignification. Wait, it also picked itself up. That's kind of funny. Didn't need that one. Oh, there's a Tannis Fugit raid incoming! Hey there, Tannis! How was your Path of Exile today? Because there's a, what was it, a new season or something in that one? I'm gonna do this one as well. Let me go, uh... Oh, you can't even spell your name, it's a Ugativ raid today. Let's go see if I can do a shout out here. Uh... Oh. Uh, maybe I can get a shout out to work. Hey, there we go. Go uh, follow Tannis. He sometimes streams cruel. He streams a number of different things. Uh, sometimes streams. I mean, today you were streaming Path of Exile, right? Stream went well. New league dropped today. That sounds fun. I, I don't know. I never got into Path of Exile. I like, tried it for a while. Um, oh, this ghost blends in really well. This one that doesn't do much though, so I don't think I need to be too worried, thankfully. Uh... But, 
Path of Exile, can you kind of play, like, if you have, like, a friend, can you kind of just help do, like, a, the... Kind of more like a dual player thing or something, or does that not quite work? Uh... Let me go to... Wait, I actually haven't finished this level, because I ran out of Steam Drake, it's like, when I had negative fire resist. I'm pretty sure that's why this level's not done fully. I oh, don't see why not? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It might be more interesting if you're, like, playing with another person. Because I know that's what I did, like, back in the day with Diablo and stuff. Uh, where do I need to go now? What, what were they doing? I think the Elven Hall is level 2, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, this looks right. Uh... Oh, from what you said, I think like Diablo 2. Yeah, I can't remember how the multiplayer worked. I don't know, it's been a long while since I tried Path of Exile. But it's one of those games that just like keeps on getting updates, right? So you can, there's always something new in it. Uh, whose ghost is this? It's XT Mob's ghost. Hey, they have refrigerate. Oh, they have polar vortex. 12d16 damage on their polar vortex? Nope, I'm not going anywhere. There's this white draconian ice elementalist. Nope. I mean, at least they kill all their friends, but that would hurt a lot. Like, sure, I've got some cold resist, but I mean, it would ignore half my cold resist anyway. Yeah, let's not go anywhere near that ghost. Oh, Path of Exile can absolutely be played multiplayer. Right. And I wasn't going to do the weapons either, because I'm not very good against weapons. They're, I think, are they not immune to cold? They're just like berry resistant or something. But either way, it doesn't really work trying to take them out with cold. Also, how's the oh polyvortic still 63% failure? That's probably because I haven't been getting much ice magic, right? I should get some ice magic. But I might try to get it up to 26. It's gonna be really expensive, but I think it's worth it. Oh, there's a very strong ice smell. Oh, the one that died in that elf was a very strong ice elementalist? Yeah. No, having... What were they? What was their race? Like... A white draconian, so they would have had a positive aptitude in ice magic, which would have really helped them get it online. But still, it looks like they focus quite thoroughly into the ice, which I, admittedly is what this character is doing as well. Um... I remember what their god was. I don't think it was Ash and Zari, because that always helps you get the high level spells going quick. But it is only a single school spell, so getting online by uh, Elven Halls is definitely plausible. Oh, out of magic, really? Oh, just channel. Sub. That's a tower shield. I can't use the tower shield yet. Uh. What are those javelins? There's a cold resist, tanks, I got tons of stuff I don't need. There's gotta be statue everything, I don't need a charm weapon. I should probably use that enchant armor if I can. Uh... No, not really, it's only for a shield, which... Maybe when I get up to using a better shield or charge it up. I don't think it's worth it at the moment though. I don't need to worry about the Tormentor, so I need the, the tougher guys that Torment that I need to worry about, like the Ice Fiends and Brimstone Fiends. Probably more the Brimstone Fiends that I've got to worry about. And I can Yara them if I need to, although I think it's 27% failure, 30% failure, it's doing better than it used to be. Right, because I'm getting the Alchemy. Uh, am I making a decent amount of noise? I'm making a decent amount, but not like huge noise. It's actually kind of effective, like bringing these elves out like one or two at a time or whatever it's doing. Oh, I'm gonna have to channel this magic. This guy's getting up to me way too quick. 
don't think it had holy wrath, but I don't think I actually always get a warning for that. It seems kind of temperamental whether it gives you a warning or not. Uh, that looks fine. To go conjuration, but not, almost none of my spells are conjuration. There's also a ring of resist electric on this dude. Maybe we should take that one. Because resist electric is one of the few resists I'm missing. I'd have to take off like potential or something. Oh, there's a wizardry ring. Who up. Let me just put this wizardry on for a little while instead of uh, attention. Twenty six percent fail in the polar vortex. It's not quite there, but it's getting pretty close. Um, throw the little buckler. Nah, ninety percent fail. The shield barely makes a difference. I go back to my other shield. I might drop the buckler. Right, so I have made some difference, but. Okay, I might not go with this ring right now, because the uh, cold resistance isn't doing a lot, poison resistance isn't doing a lot, um, resistance negative is not doing anything. Might put on the resist electric for a while, because it counts as a magic poison as well, which is kind of nice. Wait, this guy's, I think, got a weapon of resist electric. Should I, actually, I'm carrying around another weapon of resist electric as well, if I need to get that in an emergency. Uh And this uh this, this frost spell is just so nice, just part of frost eruption. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's actually made uh Ice Hill, but it's something I actually like playing now. <laughs> Man, I should try and play like as many Ice Elements as I can before it gets nerfed, I think. Because I have a feeling it probably will get nerfed. Oh, I don't need a vampire's tooth, do I? Can't use a death tally, but I don't think a death actually a death tally would, would be okay. Like it gets more willpower. But don't do that much. What are my boots again? Willpower. Hmm. I don't really need the cold resist, but these are plus three boots that stop you getting pushed around, which is kind of nice. I really like the steadfast boots, but I don't think I use them right now. Not the Elven Hall, so I need the willpower in here. But maybe somewhere else I can take off some stuff. Oh, it's a potion shot, of course. But I probably don't want to reduce my willpower below three. Um, Alright, that looks fine. So I can probably swap the boots now. What am I using for cold resist? I mean, the hat's mainly for willpower, but if I get another hat for willpower, that's fine. Got one naturally, and I've got one for my boots. And I got one for my staff, right. Uh, I don't think there were any other staffs in here. Some fires, no, like, artifact staffs anywhere in this game. There should be artifact staffs, though. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't seen any. Alright, let's go to... Got good resist. Let's just go to the depths. I kind of need more some way of dealing with things next to me. Like, I don't know. A polar vortex? That's okay, but I'm going to refrigerate. Uh, I like this. Um, we push off my staircase. You know what? I might do. A, might do a bit of fear on these guys and then try to get back to my staircase. It's gonna be so surrounded by the time I get back up. I might try and refrigerate a couple of guys. Right, it's not looking too bad. Excellent. Now, 
refrigerate this guy. There we go. Finishes off. I guess I can keep on repeating that pattern. Uh, bring them up. Blink back a little bit. That would take me very far with that blink, unfortunately. I think I've got my depth entrance back. Yeah, for that swarm of creatures that decide to surround it. Uh, oh, I'll land on the alarm trap. Wait, if it's a caustic shrike, the spectral caustic shrike has one cover this, probably because of the spectral, right? Um, I'll try a radiator, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's another one. What do I do against this one next to me? I gotta, I gotta try the polar vortex. So if I, oh, hold on, I have no magic points if I swap that ring off. Try, try with the intelligence. Thirty percent failure, but I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah. Suppose that worked. Right. Um. I put the intelligence back off. Oh, and then take off the um, resist electric one. Yeah, this is definitely looking really nice. Uh, does the polymorphics work in here? Not very well. I mean, it spreads a little bit. Gotta keep it. Uh, remember that I've got no resist electric right now. I think that will be fine. Uh, if I let this vampire get one closer, I should be able to, there we go, hit it. Well, at first that wasn't too bad. I mean, there was a, definitely a few problems with things taken up by staircases, but... General, not too bad. Oh, let's smack this guy in melee, can't I? Because it's almost dead. I take this guy upstairs. Oh, my polybotic's gone. I'll just split back a little bit so I can hit it with something. <sighs> oh, I've been made fragile. Mm. I can refrigerate some of these guys. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. I had to go up soon. I should probably go up right now. Because I don't think those ice shards are going to die too fast to the polar vortex. Bring a nice giant upstairs. Just I don't have a lot of magic points right now. Um, oh, that worked. Uh, if I tell you, well, if I blink back, I'll just get me away from this guy. I'll just try to radiate it. There we go. So we've got Chain Lighting Kes of Death. You know, this is kind of, this is a really fun mummy. I haven't had fun with mummies. Well, some mummies actually do end up kind of tough, which is weird. Uh, but I find most mummies kind of feel like they're doing really bad. But this one, character actually feels like they're doing well. Oh, the Willpower Ring? I probably can't use that one right now. I've got to, got to keep my spellcasting chances buffed up, really. Uh...
Oh, uh... Let me just get back a little bit. So we've got the Enchantress here. What does she do? She has strip willpower. And then once she's done that, she can do a confusion and stuff. Okay. Uh... She refrigerates all these guys, which I think should work fairly well in the spring. And there we go. She's got resist corrosion intelligence fly armor. I've got fire resist resist corrosion armor. So I lose a fire resist, but I gain five intelligence and the ability to fly. How would it compare with the AC? Unchanged, but I lose point six of an evasion. Right. That's actually not terrible. Like it gives me the ability to fly, but it's no, it's not really worth it. I mean it's actually like a fairly cheap way of getting flight. But Yeah, it doesn't do much else for me. I should probably just like exclude up this area because it's got silence on it, which is making it really nasty. Oh, I'm dumb as a level anyway, apart from that. It's probably, uh, probably the last thing that a um, spellcaster wants to be going into. Somewhere with silence. I don't have to worry about like these uh, water elementals. Could, uh, what do they do? They engulf you usually? Because, I mean, I don't breathe. I don't think it would be very good for my bandages, but. I mean, it can't be too bad. Uh... I do have polar vortex. Does it take out these weapons? It seems, yeah, it seems to take out the dancing weapons just fine. Because half of its damage ignores resist, so I guess that's what's taking it out. I uh, don't need to worry too much about the shiny guy, I don't think. It does a slight bit of temporary in drain. That's about it. Okay. Just move to the center here. Uh, not sure about this. Oh, the polar vortex is gone. Actually, this is not looking good. I gotta do a little bit of a blink, see where you end up. That did not really improve the situation. Start a teleport, but oh, ow, ow, that really hurt. Okay. Oh no, this is really bad. I think I've got to blink further into here and hope the teleport takes me somewhere good, but I'm actually looking really badly wounded right now. Um, I don't have a way of like healing myself up, which is kind of a shame. Do a bit of fog. Uh... Oh god, the teleport put me in a good spot. If that teleport had put me back where I was, I could have been in really big trouble. No, that was a that was expensive. I think moving forwards into that area was a bad idea. I thought I'd be able to get them with my polar vortex, but no, not really. Yeah, because everything there was just like immune to elemental damage. Oh well, mistakes were made, but somehow I'm still alive, so that's all I could hope for, right? Uh, right, I don't have resist electric right now. Um, I might have to put on the resist electric weapon. I reckon I do. Well, it's such a nasty ambush of creatures. Like, even when I uh, knew what I was walking into, still running myself out of magic points and everything. Alright, uh, not that I have quite as many magic points as I could have, because I took off the extra magic point ring to put on the wizardry one. 
I should probably get better at channeling magic. Because uh, I do it enough. Yeah, we've still got like 5% failure or something. And also, the more implications you get, the more magic it channels back before it stops. Well, I think it actually just increased how long it lasts, which is effectively more magic points. Uh, although I'm still trading up the ice, aren't I? Oh, I should probably keep a go with the ice, because the polar vortex is also not quite where I want it to be. But, actually, you know what? I'll get my invocations up to 12 right now, I think. Yeah, then I'll go back to doing the ice. Because that should be enough to at least make the, um... Channel magic reliable, get it down to at least 1% failure or something. What's this guy going? It's got an Amulet of the Acrobat and Regen. Uh, randomly corrodes you sometimes, but it gets three decks. Oh, it's got, it's got Holy Wrath, of course it does. Um, I might just move back a little bit. This should be fine. It should be able to kill it before, there we go, before it gets to me. I don't know if I want that Amulet. I mean, Regen's nice, but I'm still relying on my Amulet for Fire Resist. I don't think I can really swap all the stuff around to get Fire Resist for this character. At least, uh, probably not. Oh, still more stuff. Okay. Well, this guy's got to be cold resist, right? Be a blizzard demon. Doesn't seem to do very well in a blizzard, though, because the Paul of Onyx is kind of a blizzard. Uh-oh. What's going on here? I think I just accidentally channeled up a couple of commands there, which could have been extremely dangerous. All these statues, uh, good. I do blow up the right spot at least. Oh, well, it's just a dig around out in the open. I mean, it's kind of in its own little area, but I'm used to those being surrounded by walls and stuff. But mm, yeah, apparently today you can just wander on in. I mean, this character would be okay in a uh, dig around. I could count contraction manual. Do I actually want contraction's? I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get. Uh, I picked up the flight boots, did I? No, I picked up flight. I might put on the flight armor, I go grab all the loot here. All right, there we go. Now I can put back on my uh, fire and the armor. So I need to go... Where do I need to go? Just the last level of depth, so then I've got to decide which... What's the radiator, actually? And then I've got to decide, like, where would be the sensible spot to get a third rune for this character. I kind of want to actually get at least four runes. So the side pits is not a bad idea. Um... I'll try refrigerate. It's going okay. Yeah, because the side pits, um... I guess after I pull the vortex, I don't know quite what I'd do then. That could be the problem. I need to retreat, but I've got to kill these guys, I think, before I retreat. How much sense would it make for this character to get Vice Letter pro charge? Probably not a whole lot. Um, this character kind of wants to stay back from combat instead of charging up to people. I mean, sometimes the Vice is good for repositioning anyway, but it's very niche that like, you need to reposition. Well, there's a, like, a creature standing in the right spot to reposition and stuff. Uh, I just failed my... Pull the Vortex there. What does that now do? It must be doing pretty well. Still 10%? Oh, because they're getting the implications that right now. That's right. Yeah, 
These are some pretty nasty demons that came around this corner. Uh... I mean, there was a whole bunch of guys that had damnation, which I guess you can't exactly get any resist to that. Um, I do, I guess I can irradiate this guy. Yeah, there's not much else I could do, though. I feel like I should maybe teleport out here. Um... This is kind of an endless swarm of creatures. I'll oh, get me far enough. I think I can rest up. There we go. I don't have a huge amount of teleports, which is kind of strange because I don't think I've used a huge amount. I think I just haven't found a whole lot. Alright, this is the entrance as well, isn't it? It looks like it probably is. Let's keep that ice magic going. Don't, don't check that it's got a limit on it, because I don't want to accidentally get the ice title or something. Because I don't think there's a special mummy ice title. I know there was a mummy fire title, the highly combustible one, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I don't think there's a special ice one. Uh... Right. There we go. Got everything. If I step back, I might get that one magic point I need. There we go. Oh, I didn't kill him. I'm going to tell him magic anyway. Uh, oh. Right, I see why there was so many blood demons. So this time was full of like ice things, like blood demons and stuff. This was some fight, you know, things like, I guess, hellions and um, brimstone fiends. That makes sense. That would be where all those guys came from. Yeah, so I gotta go do. I'm right level twenty three. I'm not that high a level right now. Have I missed anywhere out? I don't think so. I, mean, I could do a bit of crypt. Probably quite cold with this though in there. You know what I might do a bit of corrupt anyway. I think it's alright. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely don't think the cold resist. Why do I like to pick up any other schools of magic with this character? Because I'm like, going for an invocations title, so I'm going to max it out at some stage, but there's probably not too many other things I need. Well, that's wizardry with lots, uh, lots of things, like shield and stuff on it. My wizardry has uh, strengths. Yeah, not a lot, actually. <laughs> Might put this one on for now. Uh... Fortunately, I definitely still need that wizardry, because I'm only 10, well, still 10% failure. I think freezing those guys is a whole lot. Uh, snakes to me. I'll just uh, radiate it, I guess. Actually, I can, I can start a polar vortex. Actually, that did the trick. Good. Alright. Actually, if I, yeah, if I blast that guy, and I radiate the curse scale, there we go. I shouldn't be too worried about curse scales, but they do summon a decent number of creatures. It's just they like, can't actually get me with their torment, so that's their main thing that's kind of a worry. It's usually they torment you down to low hit points and then the summons finish you off, but... Obviously not a worry for a mummy. It's freezing... it goes okay against these guys. I think those flying scales, the laughing scales, they might have more fire resist than cold resist. Unless they got changed, because I know the old uh, flying scales did. Because they used to be flaming scales at some stage, and they kind of got changed around a lot. So they ended up with a lot of fire resist, but it didn't really make sense for them anymore. I know they were like that for a while. Um, 
I can't even see losing party in here, aren't I? With all the channel magic that I have to do. Yeah, that's probably fine. Hi, Mally, this guy, wait, I've got a staff and cold, which is probably not very vague against it. Alright, that's corrupt one. I don't know. I don't think the corrupt's been that effective. I might just go to Vaults 5, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'll come back to the corrupt later on, but yeah, I'm not making uh, slow progress through it. I got an escape hatch. Take the escape hatch. Ooh, this doesn't look bad. Okay. Not the channel magic now. Unfortunately, the polar vortex is not going to spread very far. Um. Channel is still going good. I should have that on all the time because I think I'm going to need it all the time in here. Um, I have been noisy, so I could try to get better stuff, but oh well. Uh scout the other side of me. Mm. Still okay. Oh, that was a that was probably a bolt of electricity or something because it hit me quite hard. Um Oh yeah, eight percent fail on the polar vortex. Good. Where? Oh, I'm right near the center of the map. Let's get away from the center of the map. That would be so. I so many creatures were coming along for that one direction. I got channel magic, aren't I? Well, it depends how long these guys keep me coming for, but I'm channel magic. Ah, uh, I'll do it again. <laughs> There's gotta be no end of creatures early on, so I've got, uh, resist electric magic points and minus intelligence for next. Well, that's kind of a shame. I can't really have it with a minus intelligence, otherwise it might be an alright weapon. Okay, so the polar vortex. Uh... I'm just kind of blowing everything up with the um, eruption there, which isn't too bad. Right, so I'm level 24. Uh, I think, yeah, mummies are like slightly slower leveling up than other people, but I'll get to a decent level eventually. I think I better channel with some magic before this guy gets too close. Yeah, it's dead. I can kind of tell where it was by where my spell blew up. This guy's fire resist. I might just try to radiate it, see if that does a bit more. Oh, not fire resist, cold resist. I know it's cold resist because I've, uh, I believe those guys are fire and cold resist, though. Tactical monstrosities, they can be a problem for a lot of elemental characters. What have we got in the Santa here? Yeah, we've got an electric dragon. I don't know how much damage the polar vortex does in those corridors. It doesn't feel like it does that much. Oh, out of magic. Um, I'm probably just going to have to radiate this guy to death. There we go. I love how that radiant's actually working despite me not having most of the spell skills required. I probably should get some conjuration at some stage because I think I did have a manual for it and everything. Uh... Where is I can't just retreat back here? 
Also reduce the chance of me attracting more of these enemies as well. So I've got 20 fighting, which is pretty good. Some say they need more shields. Um, see, most of these skills are looking fairly decent. Oh, what does this guy have? It had something on it. Had the ring of two intelligence, six strength, five evasion. Unfortunately, not really what I'm looking for. I mean, evasion's good, but... I don't know, it's only two intelligence, and again, at the moment, I've got to have a lot of stuff to, to help with that. Um, I might pick it up instead of protect. I mean, it's not the best for swapping, because it's got, like, drains your max health when you take it off, but it should be fine. Because uh, it's not that high a chance I ever put it on. If that, if that was intelligence instead of strength that it gave a large amount of, I would definitely be using it. I don't think there's any love traps here, thankfully. Good. So what's the stuff? Ooh, Conjuration? No, that doesn't work. Minus fire resistance, that's definitely not going to work. What have we got here? Fire resistance, cold resistance, a little bit of strength. Well, that's better than the basic fire resistance I'm carrying around, I guess. Not much better because my uh, cold resistance is basically maxed anyway, but hey. It's very slightly better, I think. Wait, what's up with the full inventory? There's a ring of evasion. Oh, it's one quarter of the level here. No, it's one of the ones with... Oh, it's one of the areas with bad sight. There's also not a good area for polar vortex, is it? That... Hello, this is not too bad for a polar vortex. Huh. This guy's the guy with the crystal spear, so I just gotta try and take it out before it gets up to me. Oh, that way spell could go for either one of these guys. That's probably fine. I know it's getting quite close. Hey, there we go. Die before it got right up to me. If it go right up to me, it would have made it harder for me to damage it. Whoops. Let's cast my uh, Purple Frost Eruption when there was no one within range. Now, what's, uh, I need to do Irradiate. There we go. I want to check out these gloves. Are they any good? They're cold resist. That's not that impressive. My gloves are stealth. But they're too lots of cold resist. But I feel like cold resist is something I got just way too much of in this character. Alright, sort of resist electric. I got, I got like so many things to resist electric, but it's still the resist that I don't have. Uh, I'll just give it a radiating. Doesn't matter if I get contaminated. I might try and keep uh, out of this kind of bad terrain that puts me up close to things. Just head up this way. I don't want to swing at nothing. I'm just trying to run back up that way. I can kill this guy, Belly. Yeah, there we go. Uh, check out the scarf. I can't remember what my cloak is, but that's a scarf of resistance. I got a plus two cloak. So that can get me a fire resistance if I don't mind losing a little bit of armor class. Which... I don't know, it would be the worst thing in the world. Would that let me swap anything around if I gain a fire resist? So my fire resist is currently on my ablet. In theory, it would let me put another amulet or another robe, for that matter. My current, uh, that's intelligence. You know what? It's questionable. If I try to put this one on, and this one on, and the resistor kind of still the same, but now I've got 4% fail in the polar vortex. 
Does that actually help me? Does that let me put on this shield? Probably not. That was 12% failure. Kind of does, actually. <laughs> I might go with that for a while. Yeah, why not? Because sure, I lose the uh, armor class, but I can kind of make it up with the shield value, I think. And also, um, I should actually do a quick check for shields, but I could probably just enchant up the one I've got. Uh, there's a buckler for tower. There's no other real tower shields apart. Yeah, this is plus zero tower shields. Um, in fact, you know what? I might enchant up right now. There's some chance I'll find a bit of shield in here, but I think it's better just to have one that's enchant up. Uh, actually, my wolf has uh, it's back up to four pips. Because I think I did uh, reduce it at some stage. By swapping out my boots or whatever it was that I swapped out. Alright. Oops. A number of revelations uh, could be helpful. Oh, uh-oh. I've been marked. Can I try and get rid of that one? It's probably not. I've done a decent amount of this level, but I haven't done enough. Alright. I yards myself. There we go. Mark is gone, but... There's still the things that were, like, initially attracted by the mark, but I can probably get those, like, a polar vortex or something. Uh... And I love the yard spell mummies. Uh, it really does kind of make up for your cancellation potions. Yeah, so I've got like the yards to make up for cancellation potions. I got Sif Bottom to make up for like uh, brilliance potions and um, magic potions, I guess, because I can kind of just channel the magic, right? But I don't have anything to make up for haste potions. Um, oh, it's not quite dead. Well, the guy can survive a lot of melee bashing. I guess I'll just irradiate it again. Oh, because the cold resist. In fact, I think it's doubly cold resist, uh, the Shadow Dragon. Uh, I can always auto explore. Oh, this wizardry. I don't need to resist negative. It's wizardry and dex. Nah, it's probably not that special, because I got the Octopus King ring of uh, decks, which is giving two of lots of things, like shield, evasion, armor class. Oh, hey, it's a Gravitambarine. Um, sure, I'll take one of those. That one pulls all the creatures into one spot, and it's exclusive with the Vile of Floods, I think. Kind of fun. Alright, uh, and I'll say you got the ground is good. I don't need the conjuration stuff. I do need a special cold resist, uh, not cold resist stuff. A special cold stuff, I think, would be nice. But if I don't get one, that's fine as well, I guess. Uh, the clouds are cold resist, okay. I've looked at most of the stuff. In fact, half of the stuff, like the boots and stuff, they've dropped. Right, I think I'm done here, so I might go... I might actually go into the slide pits. Go collect that one out as well. Um, getting a resist corrosion I do have, but a uh, fine without a resist electric? Probably. Right, I don't know if there are any, like, electric slimes. I might just re regain some magic points. There we go. <laughs> Alright, next level. And I don't need to worry about mob mutates. There's just a lot less stuff for this character to worry about in the slime pits than there is for your average character. Uh, do I have to worry about the corrosion? But that's only minus two at the moment. It's not too bad.
Right, that would be the cross the, uh, the, what's it called? Azure jelly, it's really resistant to cold. Let's try to refrigerate one of those, it's not doing a whole lot. Right, let's pick up Discord, alright. Add it to my collection of spells. I should, uh, I should fully explore as much of this level as I can. Alright, ice is doing well. Um, I might just get a little bit more ice. 26.9 will do. And I might get the shields up to 20. Try to get rid of some of that shield penalty. And then, I don't know, what do I get after that? Probably just invocations, get the channel magic. Actually, I wonder if Divine Axe is used good at some stage as well. Anyway, let's go down. Those rock slides must not be resistant to cold. They take tons of damage. All right. I just had to go check what they were resistant to. So they got two fire resist. Yeah, no cold resist. And they got some poison resist. And resist electric. So cold is basically the perfect damage type for killing them, I think. Because I know that those guys could definitely be quite scary for a lot of characters. In fact, they probably are still a bit scary for this character. Because they hit for a lot of melee. And they push you around. Although, I think it got the boots that stop you pushed around. Uh... Oh, hey there, Royal Jelly. Okay. Probably fine. Uh, going to try and emulate some of the stuff. Get a weird mixture of fire and cold. All right. Lost my polar bodies, which is not ideal. Um. Actually, might start the teleport now because I'm about to get surrounded. That's going to hit the Royal Jelly. There we go. I think the Royal Jelly's dead. But minus one corrosion, my teleport did not get me out of there. So I'll start another one. Uh... Channel some magic. There we go. That's better. I should be able to survive these guys. And I can even go up the staircase, get all my health back and stuff. That was not too bad. Take out the Royal Jelly. It usually isn't with mages. It's mean, definitely still got to be careful of all the stuff that gets spewed out everywhere, but... Yeah, I feel like the mages have a lot more options to take out the raw jelly than melee characters do. Uh, I mean, maybe not so much the earth mages, but pretty much everyone else seems to be able to do this just fine. Even summoners, I prefer to do the... Well, actually, with summoners, I definitely prefer to do the slime pits. I've always found like Dragon School really good in here. I mean, the Fire Storm or Chain Lightning are probably the most effective in here. Like uh, Chain Lightning, you just spam a few times, the Royal Jelly just disappears. I got here Manual Summoning. Okay, technically it's summonings now. I don't know why that random S was added to the end, but I guess it's harmless. Oh, it's AC Dex Magic Points. The cold just doesn't matter. Um. I actually don't need to have this corrosion ring. I'm not getting like a lot of room for just some of the more basic defenses. Oh well. Quicksilver Dragon Scales are cold resist. God, there's got to be cold resist. The one I've got tons of. Might be a bit more useful if it was like fire resist or something. Oh, why is that? Man, why are those lignifications picking up? i got to take those off all to pick up. In fact, I've probably got to fix my RC file, because I think that's got the like, notifications on auto pickup. Does that stop them on auto pickup? I hope so. Alright, excellent. Slime bit's done, so... I've got my four runes. 
I might as well just go into Zalt now and clear that out a little bit. Okay. Not quite what I wanted, but I'll start channeling some magic. This might be fine. And yeah, there's one chip that, that caused the main... Well, caused the groups of guys to be brought around me. Uh... What's the curse girl doing in here? That's not something I'd expect to see, so there must be a vault in here that's spelling out the curse skulls. Um, yeah, it is a second one. And I have seen a uh, vault before that does have the curse skulls in Zot. This guy's going to be so resistant to everything. I might just irradiate them while they dance around the polar vortex. Got eyeballs on this level as well. Uh, I should wait off the fragile upstairs, I think. They don't have a lot of health on this character, well, like 200 or something. Which doesn't feel like a huge amount. Of, hmm. I think Mummy's not exactly low on health, it's just that I haven't spanked uh, fully into the fighting yet. Although Mummy's not actually bad with fighting, I think they're a plus zero aptitude. Maybe just the ice that costs so much. Yeah, like that's costing, it says, what, 58 to put the points into the ice magic or something? Or something like fighting would be like 28 or something. Uh, or spellcasting would be 14. Spellcasting is really cheap at this point. Maybe we should get some. But I almost should. I almost definitely should. I was 6% on the polyphonics. I don't know. It fluctuates a bit. <laughs> Depending exactly what I'm wearing. I fall mornings is kind of weird when you're getting blinked around because it takes a ticket takes a little while to reform on the other side. Uh Oh, that's quite a lot of stuff, but that's fine. That's Paul Vodic's going, I think I just need to, yeah, dump a spell those guys. So I've got Magic Map, but I'm saving them because I'm thinking I might want to go into Extended or something with this character. Because uh, I basically get a Death Form for pretty much free. Oh, hey, look at all these guys that can torment. If only they, uh, if only I wasn't a mummy, these guys would do so much better. Right, so they were basically just uh, guarding the staircase, except for some reason they managed to get all the way out here. I guess it's not that far. Right, next level, I guess. That was Zot 1. It would have been bad with a lot of characters, but for this character in particular, if you just be able to ignore the time, it made such a big difference. Uh, let's go up, get my magic points, go back down, I guess. I still have no resist electric. I can swap some in, but I'm going to have to lose something like the intelligence for that, which is a bit of a shame. All right. Uh... But I should probably, I'll give it a try. See how my spellcasting looks. Um, I don't need the basic magical power. I don't need the basic protection. We don't need that regen. All right, let's uh, let's try this. So I've got the mad, oh, the resist electric magic points. Seven percent power. That's probably acceptable. And I mean, it counts with a little bit more magic points, which is always helpful. What 
What's that? That's a dark night spotting. Black night spotting. Yeah, it is. Huh. Well, I'm not a Naga or a Palin Tiger or nothing, so that'll help me out. That's a ghost boss. Gotta be. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's half my magic points. Uh, it's still alive, isn't it? Uh, oh. Ah, it's not gonna let me get my magic points back, is it? Oh, well. I was hoping I might be a chance of it, but that was clearly too slow to keep up with the training. At least more too slow to get me more than about four magic points before it just got drained again. That's yeah, fine, actually. It didn't even want to stand forward, so it wanted to coat me in poison. I'm not sure about the idea of coating a mummy in poison. I feel like that's not very effective. You'd think the enemies would know that, but apparently they don't know exactly what resist you have. Except sometimes they do seem to act like they know what resist you have. Like with the uh, death ranks, know that you have poison resist. I guess your average draconian's not smart enough to figure it out, though. Uh, well, Zot 2 was not too much problems. I did get a Uniques, which I guess helped. Alright, let's refresh some of these guys. Oh, nothing would berserk. Nice. I thought one of those technical monstrosities would for sure. Okay. This is okay. Wait, I'm gonna need to channel some magic, aren't I? Uh, I think I can just keep him back. Yeah, that was gonna distortion whip, but it can't actually get up to me, so. Oh, small guys. I guess I'll channel some magic. Oh, of course, there's even more stuff. Okay. Uh... Colors and stuff being shot at me, but I'll just get out of there. Go down somewhere else, I think. Uh, okay. BB coming along. I want to. I guess I'll just channel magic. That might do the trick. Do I feel like refrigerator will do that much? But oh, I might just go up. I did. I did a decent amount of damage to her, but then too many other things just decided to come along. Uh, how much power do I even have on this permafrost? I got it up to 58%, which is okay. Uh, mainly because I'm using the stuff, I think, that's enhancing that. There she is. Okay. I mean, I can put frost on her. She could probably put frost on me if, I, if she wasn't a polar vortex. Uh... There we go, she's gone, and my ice magic reached the target, which is nice. So I'm getting spell girls, I'm getting shields, those both look like important things. Oh yeah, polar folding's down to 5%. Uh, this is when I kind of get diminishing returns, right, because I've maxed out my uh, ice magic. Well, basically maxed it out. Got it as high as I'm going to get it. What was that dude's shield? I probably should have looked a bit earlier, just uh, plus zero. Alright. I love how it is like combining the polar vortex with the, uh, what's it called? Should know, the Ozzy ref Cuba's refrigeration. It just seems to uh, kill most creatures pretty quick.
All right. Uh, Channel's magic. I don't like how there's two of these guys. These are the little guys they bring in to get Polar Vortex. Yeah, that means they don't tend to live long enough to actually turn into anything. Like... So I got something like Castle here. It looks like it's full of electric guys, so I'm going to presume it's, uh... Well, it's completely full of electric guys. Which should be fine, because I did actually put on the resist electric now. Hey, level 26. All right. This, uh, I mean, I'm going for four runes, so that's really helping my levels out. I might get to level 27 by the end of Zot. We'll see. Uh, be nice if I did. Oh, this guy's got an axe of fire resist, resist negative willpower. I think my willpower's just fine. Uh, fire resist could do some work, but I don't think I'll use that weapon for it. Yeah, they're going to be quite fussy with what I use for the weapon, unless I get, uh, unless it enhances ice magic, it's probably not the best. Nice little, little set of torment. I'm not the right character for that. I have had a character using that one before. It was really fun. Um, yeah, not for this character, unfortunately. What did I even have? Was this like some sort of wand or was that the... No, so the guy with the sorcery weapon I saw earlier. Uh, so I got two more levels of Zot. I can do that. Like everything suggests that this character is doing just fine so far. Did I get some more fighting more? Did I get... No, I think my health went up because I leveled up or something. Uh... Come on, give me a polybotics. There we go. I don't think a uh, castle does much. Uh, I mean, it's something like the guys around me, right? Which doesn't really matter if I do a polybotics because they're not going to survive the polybotics. What sort of resistance does the cloud have anyway? Oh, God. Drain me. What's my pol uh 6% fail on my polybotics? That's not too bad. But I did drain like three int or something uh, temporarily. That can actually be a problem with the clouds. I mean, it usually isn't, but sometimes you get a problem with the stat drain just building up until it gets to the point where you really struggle to cast. All right. Hey, they're of a fire. Ooh, ow. Wait, hold up. Do I lose some magic points or the woods? I'm going to lose magic points. It's fine. Um, there we go. <laughs> no, I could, uh, couldn't leave that without the fire. There's definitely not. I wonder how far I am for being able to take off that wizardry. Probably still quite some time. Uh, as I know it does like lots of nice stuff, like increasing my AC and stuff, but... Hold up. Am I just... Ah, oh, that blink don't got me just a little bit further away. I guess I just refreeze everyone. I just feel like it's not doing much against that toe... Or cord, I mean. Oh, what to do? I feel dopey, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not keeping that end up, apparently. I mean, I might have a better time by uh, taking off the wizardry ring if that end was up, but... Right, this is where the old fire came out of, I'm pretty sure. Uh... It's got all the fiery walls and everything. I recognize this vault. Uh, I think. No, actually, it wasn't that one. That's not the one I was thinking of. That's completely different. This is what I was thinking of with the lava around the walls. So if I count the orb of fire already, I don't think there'll be another one. Actually, right, so those are all three of my staircases down, so... I guess I just head on down. This is level 5, so I probably should magic map everything out. Uh, also, I've got an acquirement at some stage, which I should check out. 
But, oh, I've got some charge now. We've got so much stuff. Hold on, let me just go upstairs and uh, read the equipment and stuff. So it's all for me, manual stuffs, stuff of alchemy, a little bit of money, scale mail, three strength, three decks. It's only plus zero, though. I don't really need any of this. I guess I'll just get the manual stuffs in case I ever decide to want to, I want to hit people with stuffs. But anyway, I should charge up my shield. Alright. Magic mapping is here. Don't think I need to shatter in here, because I do have to shatter, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Electric Dragon. Uh, oh, well, the best thing to do on that one is... As I was refrigerate it. Right, now that my head's back, I'm down to 4% fail in the pole vortex, which actually seems quite reasonable. That's not going to hit the right guy, I'll just refrigerate it. I'm trying to get rid of the guy that's actually summoning all those creatures, because most of that stuff is just summons. Yeah, this uh, new ice element is so much fun. Uh, I mean, it has actually changed the side. It's just the uh, permafrost as well as the only thing that got changed. But it's uh, enough to kind of really helps you get the get the character going going through the mid levels because the the low level spells are right on the ice elementals, but they're actually not too bad at all. Um, but you kind of run into problems when you're trying to get refrigerate or something online. Uh, I do not want to be marked right now. Ooh, I miscast my Yaras. Uh Hold up. I think the best thing to do here is actually just retreat. Because then I'll just be taking text from this one or two guys. There we go, the staircase looks a bit better. Give me a little bit of distance from all these guys. Oh, uh... I can pull the vortex these guys, I can hit the guy in the back. Uh... Right. Oh, don't hit the right guy. Uh, I can irradiate it now, I think. Oh, almost. I wonder whether I tried any orbs of fire. I wonder how many orbs of fire I've got this time round. I'm hoping for not too many, because that's something I don't do so well against. Oh, there's an orb of fire. Alright, well, it's time to put on uh, fire resist. I'll try instead of the... Wizardry. Ooh, 7% failure. Huh. Oh, man. Okay, how do I bring out these orbs of fire one at a time? Uh, I'll bring these guys back. They might have shouted or something. Worst time for an orb of fire to come along would be when I had the minus uh, pole vortex or something. Uh... Alright, that's one of them down. At least I'm not going to get mob mutated, that's kind of nice. Man, so much damage from this cloud. It hit me with a couple of pies, but it really hurt. And one of them did silence, so I wasn't able to do anything back to it for a little while. Oh man, it's multiple orbs of fire, all right. Oh, we're doing that. 
I don't actually like this. I think I might do a blinking bag, but it might not get me out of the net. I hope it does. Good, it did. Um, I've lost my polar vortex. Right. Hopefully the old fire lost track of me, but that was a, yeah, kind of a nasty group of guys around me. Wait, is this guy even affected by cold? Yeah, it actually is. Huh. I know that a lot of those, like, golems and stuff aren't very affected by the elemental damage. Alright. Should be able to refrigerate it. There we go. There's a one less orb of fire. Oh. Hey, they're all the fire. There we go. Now the less all the fire it seems to be going fine. Hopefully, I can sell these guys going berserk by refrigerating the things that would send them berserk. Oh, good. The shields are where it needs to be. So I can probably get like. I don't need a target. I just get the um. Just get the invocations. I remember the statue being quite resistant to cold. Um, I might just get a bit closer and do a polar vortex. That's looking better. If I get a bit more intelligence, that should help me out. I know there's, uh, I know there's some dude off in that distance, so I might retreat back. Why did that just hit me with a lightning bolt? Who does lightning bolts? Whatever it is, it's dead. Oh, that would be a Black Draconian 9. No, that makes sense. It was must have almost be dead, though, from the initial polar vortex thing. Alright, now the Robb of Fire. I'm actually alright against those sorts of fire. I thought I might do a bit worse, but uh, yeah, putting on that extra fire just heavily helped. Uh Oh, I don't think this polar vortex is gonna last long enough. Uh do I need scale mail rampaging? Not really. It's got a couple of it, but I'm doing alright with my current up, which is like resist corrosion fly and seven no seven five and something like that. It helps, whatever it is. Uh... I gotta do both sides here, and then I think I'm actually gonna go for more runes of this character, which hopefully is not an absolutely terrible idea, but I think I'll do it. Uh... I might need some more magic points. My magic points are kind of maxed at the moment, so it's not too bad. Oh, not my magic points, but like, uh, Piety's kind of maxed at the moment, so it doesn't matter if I have to recall into magic or something. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's not done, so... I'll go back to the Crypt. I'll do the second level of the Crypt. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling like going for a few more runes on this character. Really getting the most out of this, um, ice magic. Uh, something invisible here. Yeah. I don't know if refrigerating makes much difference, but no. Uh, that's fine. I just irradiate these guys a little bit. But yeah, these guys are definitely not working to my strengths. Um, <laughs> they're all being cold resist. What sort of ghosts do we have here? Oh, multiple ghosts again? Okay, I don't think the multiple ghost ones are very doable. So there's 
Ulekuxon's ghost, a minotaur gladiator of heavily Aquana. So they're able to head quite hard, but they don't do much else. Fortunately, covers us, but oh well. What is this one? It's Madara's ghost, a gargoyle earth elemental, so they got to. Oh yeah, gargoyle earth elementals are pretty classic. They got iron charge. Wait, they're an old school gargoyle earth elementalist. So they don't have bombard. Right, oh, they got a blinking scroll. You know, I might love the battle. I kind of want to keep the distance. I'm just going to shatter the bolt open. I want them go invisible or something. What just happened there? Uh, oh, well, they'll do. I got the. Uh, got my scroll blinking. Let's go downstairs. Ah, oh, didn't quite work. Almost killed that guy off. I might just go down another staircase. That was kind of into a corridor, which means my polar vortex would be kind of going at max power. Come on, a radiate. You got the curse girl. There we go. I think my radiate doesn't have a lot of power, which is probably why I was taking a bit. This is the third level. I've got the entrance to the uh, tomb. I'm not entirely sure what I'll use the tomb, but polybotics will be fine. Uh, but I'd like some other spells to go in there. I'm just not sure. I'll think about getting some other spell schools at some stage. Yeah, Paul is definitely going to be good, though. Um, and I've got the immunity torment, which is definitely going to help me out. But there are the guys in there that do the whole, like, uh... The spell on dead thing and stuff. The you shabty guys. What does this dude have? Right about the Ablet of Acrobat, 3 strength, 2 dex. Nah, that's useless. Uh, oh, I need more magic points so I can do the polar body. Tell him I think he's going to take me out with this um, iron shot or something. I think I'm just like outside of for the third loot chamber is because I'm trying to get a like, number of guys here. Uh... Hey, it's walking straight to the center of the polybotics in quite a bit. Well, well, I guess the trap. I might as well set off this other trap. I mean. Or one of them's already been set off, right? So. It's not that big a deal setting off another one. Could get rid of this mark, but I think I'd rather just channel with magic and kill whatever comes along. Uh. Okay, it's going to have a tough time getting to be with this distortion. I know it's a reach weapon, which is going to help it out, but... It doesn't help it that much. Yeah, in fact, uh, that mark might have almost been helpful. I pulled all the guys into an area where I could definitely fight them. I don't... Do I need to see invisible? Uh, I can get away without it. I really saw that useful. It's mainly about this negative. Oh, there might be some better stuff here. So I can drop the... The ice rig, fire rig, those like go to quite do the trick. So we've got 
Oh, it's resist electric and fire. Okay. That was, oh, fire resist, regen, reflection, but it does have a random slow on it. Man, it's got most of the stuff I want, but. I'm not sure about that random slow. Um. Oh, I can't even pick out that rig. I got to drop. Don't need that wizardry. Uh, I probably got a flight they could drop there as well because I'm pretty sure I'm already flying. Do I actually want to pick that up? Not really. I mean, no, not really. So let me look at this. So that's. It would lose me magic points, but it would give me a fire resist. Dude, my fire resist is not bad right now because I got the fire cold resist one on. That have a possibility. I like the idea of regen and reflection, but I don't know about the mind, uh, about the slow. That's the invisible magic points, but I could probably drop it. Yeah, I'm doing a lot. I just <laughs> there we go. Pull the vortex the guy next to me. In fact, I'll probably have to do that with uh, all these guys behind doors because they end up right next to me when I pop the door. Wait, why is there an upstairs here? It's one of the one of the altars. Yeah, it makes sense. Weirdly, those devil, those never seem to have creatures in with them, so they're just kind of a harmless little area I guess you can retreat into if you need to, but I guess you wouldn't often know what it was. Also, regen? I don't need the regen in. Um, no, I probably shouldn't. If it came with a fire resist, I'd totally take it, though. Uh... Alright, so that's the uh, crypt done. I've now got to go to either, um, either like Pandemonium or, I might go to Pandemonium actually, uh, if I can spell. Yeah, I might go to Pandemonium. I'll probably drop something before I can, and I might drop the Hood of the Assassin, I'd be using that. Oh, the boomerangs are silly. Got the Resist Electric, so I don't need that weapon anymore. I probably never use that rig. What else have we got? Flight silly. That's silly. So I got the wizardry in case I need that, but I, mm, I haven't really been needing it. Try a charm weapon. I don't really need the amnesia. Remarkably, I haven't needed it anyway. Uh, I'll bring the enchant up with me in case I found a better shield, but that's probably enough armor cleared out. Enough inventory cleared out, I mean. That's going to be a Loro Cyprica, right? I don't know. You can't even tell once it's dead, but it probably was. Also, I should just go to the next level, should I? Uh... That's better killing for it, because I got my magic sapped right now. One thing you can do while you're magic sapped is you can, um... Tiger yourself with the... What's it called? The Yaras. It doesn't work quite as well as it used to, because it used to just uh, get rid of the staffing magic and you were good, but these days it uh, still gives you the minus cast for casting the spell, then gets rid of your sap magic. Uh, which is okay. I'll start off Paul of Onyx, I guess. I feel like my magic points are not quite regenerating fast enough here. Every time I get some of the back, a group of creatures comes along. Uh... Oh, come on, just cast. Do you want it? Oh, no, this is a holy level. I better get off this level as quick as possible. I am not the... Okay. Definitely don't go in here. <laughs> or I get slaughtered by all these guys. Uh, I don't think these guys are cold with this, so maybe it's fine, but... Yeah, just too many guys with holy wrath for my liking on this level.
Oh, they definitely take their cold damage pretty well. So it's probably fine so that they don't get too many guys attracted at once. Oh, what's... Uh, I should get rid of this guy first. What's this requirement want to give me? Plus three shield of willpower and regen. I got a plus eight shield. So I lose five shield value for a bit of regen. I don't know about that. That's okay. Actually, that's an okay trade-off, isn't it? Especially pandemonium. Uh, actually, can I do this level? Super sketchy with everything having holy wrath. But also, everything doesn't seem to be that resistant to cold, so... Wait, I need to look at a, a Seraph. How do you even spell that? Uh... Uh, there it is, the Seraph. It has no cold resist. Oh, interesting. I actually feel like it might be the right idea to do this level without having no cold resist. But the Polar Vortex should get rid of most of its minions. Um, if there was a right mummy to do this level, it's this character. Uh -huh. uh, I gotta, that's what I'm saying, check on the shield, see what we're getting on the ground here. This area often has some decent shields. Hey, G Lord, yep, I'm in the holy pad at the moment. As a mummy. Um, but it's actually not been too bad, which is interesting. These guys think they can run from me. I don't think they can survive running too long. Definitely taking some damage. Oh hey, the uh dragon. Alright, no, oh, that was bad if this guy's whip falls into the water. It's not something I actually really need. There's actually a way, like, directly out of here if I wanted it. Not necessarily that bad of an idea, but I'll just kill that guy. Alright, so it's got a. It's got another special shield again. That's fine. I think that time we found a whole bunch of special shield guys in here might have just been unusual. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that guy's got a nothing special shield as well. Alright. Uh... Oh, another guy? Okay, I can start another polar vortex, but it'll take a little while to step into it. Where have I attracted all those uh, Davis from anyway? There must be someone that I have attracted them all from. Minus two buckler. I mean, at least it's an artifact, I guess. I feel like I might have been trying to go down up here by now, so I'm gonna take a look. Oh, there's something left in here. If one of these guys has a shield of cold resist, they could be in trouble. Um... <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, did I miscast my polar vortex? I think the answer to that might be yes. <laughs> um, you know, this is weirdly one of the easier holier pads I'm having. Uh, okay, yeah, the tower shield was cold resist. I thought it might have been, but I don't need that, unfortunately. Cold resist is the resist I have. Ooh, that plus seven tower shield of stealth. Let's you go invisible. Um, that's 
Oh, not massive ETAP dig. I guess I'll pick it up. I've got a plus eight tail shield, so I don't. Uh, I mean, his tail's all right, but. I'd... I was kind of hoping for some fire resistance or something. Oh, well, of course, there's potions in here, which I don't actually need, do I? Uh... <laughs> Alright, there can't be much more of this level left. Oh, I see a little bit down the bottom, actually. I just exploring everywhere because I might need to teleport out, and I'm not sure. Oh, I actually gotta start tail magic because I don't like the uh, don't like this mark. Oh, I should just get rid of the mark, shouldn't I? Actually, hold up. What am I doing? There we go. Goodbye, mark. I can freeze these guys. Oh, there's uh, there's the Seraph. I thought I think I just lost my polar vortex. Hold up. Uh, it's got tower shield, resist electric, resist corrosion. I have to see if that works for me. But I'll start by teleport because I think this is not the best spot to be fighting it. Uh, wait, it's almost dead. Uh, did I killed it? Excellent. No, that wasn't too bad. I wasn't even kind of ready to fight that, but I still got it. Let's go check what it had. So there was. Uh. Oh, I can have to challenge some more magic. These guys just keep on coming. Uh. Alright, where was the shield? I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, I think I just stepped into some holy clouds. <laughs> Okay. I want to be a little bit back from that dragon. Uh... Am I just blind? Where's this shield? Wait, what? Was it not a shield or something? I saw some sure I saw something of resist electric. Uh I didn't flag it into some water or something, did I? There's a towel shield of protection. If I could have jot that up enough, that would be alright. Um Oh, this is a little basic buckler. Don't know, this is kind of strange. Oh, that guy's got something. He's got a ring of intelligence and dex and ice. Hold up. Ice. Oh. There's a, there's a reason I can't use ice, isn't there? It's because of my, it, would sort of, it would mess my resists. But it would be actually kind of good for the power of my spells. Also, ring of resist electric. I don't think that's that useful. Oh, that time I killed something above some water, which is not going to help me uh, if I wanted whatever it had. I don't think it did. It just had a ring that didn't look that interesting. Yeah, there's a flail. Oh, wait, the ring's still there? I thought I flung that one into some water. I must have flung someone else into some water. And there we go. It's the gem. There's a uh, stuff of... Oh, stuff air. Uh... Oh, that's not quite what I'm after. I'm after a stuff of ice. Is that any sort of stuff by uh, an artifact, I guess? They got the plain one. Uh. 
Oh, what's this guy got? It's, I mean, it keeps on wanting me out with these holy wrath weapons, right? Because, I mean, I am a mummy, so it makes sense to be getting warnings for these holy wrath weapons. Uh... How about this little piece of the level down the bottom? I kind of want to check out what's in here. I don't know, I could just leave. I've got the rune, which is what I came for. Kind of curious, though. Is this where the Pearl Dragon came out of? Oh, whatever there was in there. It was probably just potions, actually. I don't know what it was. There was no potions, though, because there's no potions left there. Okay, that's a lot of angels. I'll just get them with a bit of... Cleansing. Uh, not cleansing, what am I trying to say? A bit of... Polyphonics and a bit of... Uh... The other thing. Yeah, I'm doing a bit with this spice, but I think this is alright. Yeah, that was, a, that was a bunch of them. Anyway, I think I'm done with this level. I think I can just go somewhere else. Um, didn't get any shields that I want to put on. What, how many enchant numbers do I have now? Alright, I've got that acquirement still. Just five shield value, but I gained a regen. It was kind of tempting. I think I might... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll worry about it too much, actually. This wasn't a specific type of pandemonium, I don't think. What did the pandemonium lord do? Firestorm. I still haven't quite maxed out my fire dust, unfortunately. Uh... Oh. Red face first into an executioner. Okay. I think I'm going to be able to hide in this uh, corner and get my magic points back. Oh, okay. And even like toenail golems or so. I feel like that's such a rare creature. I mean, you get them in pandemonium, you get them on the orb run, right? Because the orb run spawns a lot of pandemonium creatures. I don't think you really get them anywhere else. Maybe the abyss. I mean, the abyss is pretty much anything, but I don't really think of them as the abyss creature. I don't really think of them as appearing in pandemonium much. I mainly think of them as something I occasionally see on the orb run. Oh, so it's a set with cold. I'll just radiate it. Uh, wait, how fast was this pandemonium lord? Oh, quite fast. <sighs> Actually taking a decent amount of damage from this ice, so I think that's fine. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I can start a polar vortex so I can get my magic back. I'm just worried about this guy. Uh... This is a classic getting swarmed by creatures of pandemonium though, because I my regen is my, my magic regen is not existent right now. Uh I haven't seen an exit out of here, have I? I've seen plenty of off this level, but I don't think I've seen an exit. But on the plus side, I got like so much party, it's fine if I end up spending a little bit challenging in magic. And sometimes, uh, pan pandemonium, I lose a little bit of party, and then I'll get to hell and start gaining it back. That's pretty normal for Sifmata characters with no magic regen. <laughs> and I should be getting pretty effective with the channel magic, because I got 22 invocations. 
Not my highest skill, of course. Uh, but I will get it to my highest skill. That's a plan. Just keep it going till invocation's my highest skill. Hey, there we go. That's uh, that's my ticket off this level to the next one. This doesn't have it, I think, though, so, but it's fine. It gets me away straight to the next area. So let's give that one a try. It's also nothing. All right, then. Uh, I'm not doing that much to those guys. Oh, Char Derby, yeah, I do actually do need that. How much did I have? I can't remember, but uh, it could be useful. Got six of Char Derby. Oh, I gained three. Hold up a second. So I've got a Tower Shield of Protection. If I put that on, I gain like three armor class, but I'd lose two protection? Oh, two shield value? No, that's all too bad. So let's put it on and charge it up. Uh, I think this is probably worthwhile. Yeah, in fact, my armor class is not that high. I could do with a little bit of work. Uh... Oh god, I got my magic points back eventually. Uh... Alright, teleporting. Come on, teleport me next to a portal. No, no portals here. Oh, there's a portal. Hey, that teleport might have been helpful, though it pretty much took me where I was going anywhere, I think, actually. Isn't this, like, immune to cold? Um, I see. So I just gotta hit it with the ones that either do physical damage or the polar vortex that ignores some of those resist. Yeah, the Ice Center disc could be a problem. I don't know what uh, whether I want to try and get Shatter. You know, Shatter could actually be a decent choice for this character to try and get at some stage. If I have the skill points left over. Uh... They gave me an option for both the Tomb and the Iron City of Dusk, because I, I know Shatter's really good in the Tomb. And it's also single score, which is kind of helpful because I haven't got like conjuration and stuff, so. Ooh. Ah. Uh... Ooh. I'm not sure about this. This is actually good, kind of nasty. Can I do something to it that would actually hurt it with the wands? I, I, mean, I might be able to grab a tambourine. I'm not sure how much that would do in terms of damage. I think it does some collision damage. Uh, roots it up. Oh, fire in a freezing cloud? At least I think it was on fire. Um... <laughs> More, more stuff. This is more stuff. It's bad to vote There's always more stuff. Uh, ow. I feel like kind of wounded right now. All these guys are definitely bombarding me. I'm on 50 something health. That's not very good. I don't have a way of getting this health back apart from trying to hide. Uh, I might try and hide. Cause I can channel back magic, but I can't channel back health. Um. Oh no. Hold up, I can't find that one. Can I just get a little bit of fog going? And I'm gonna start a teleport. That's notice me. Um. 
Ow. I'm feeling bad. Man, I just, I needed that. I think I did need that regen shield, maybe. At least in here. Oh, no, it's this guy again. I don't think the fog will help much right now. Uh, I gotta do a butterflies on it. Ah, oh, it doesn't solve the damnation, unfortunately. Um. I so, so maybe, no, I don't think it will. That didn't take me very far. I'm gonna do another teleport. Hopefully this one does a bit better. Oh, come on. What's up with all these teleports putting me in the same spot? At least the butterflies are still here. Uh, no. That's not gonna work. Get out of teleport again. You know, like, I'll use the acquirement to get the regen shield. I reckon I just gotta have that one in pandemonium. Unfortunately, I gotta get full health before I can attune to it. So, that's gonna take a little while. Okay. I don't know if I can get a pole vortex going right now, can I? I don't presume I can just, like, charm this dude. Uh, like maybe blind it with some light. Uh, let's see. I can't quite get to full health. Maybe I can get to full health now. Let's see. Hey, full health. Let's swap to the regen shield. I think it's. Uh, I think I've got to have it in here. Otherwise, I just can't keep my health up, especially with these uh, guys going around. These health intervals are rough. Yeah, well, they're immune poison, uh, Gaze, where they definitely... Uh, not immune cold, I mean. They definitely can do something. Ow. Okay, it's more damnation. I should be channeling magic again, definitely. <laughs> Okay, but now I got the health regen on, so there we go. It came back a bit faster now. How many of these hell sentinels are there? Yeah, too many, I think. All right. But they do get affected by shadow, I think, so if I could get shadow, that would be pretty helpful. Otherwise, I'm kind of just running from them. Uh... But I almost have to get 27 skill um, in the uh, earth just to get the shadow. Although, did I already get 10 skill in the earth? So, it's not starting from zero at least. That's another reason to get shadow, actually. In fact, maybe I should be dividing some years against some shadow, actually, because some of those situations are looking pretty bad. In fact, you know what? I probably should divide X and years instead of shadow here. Uh. Yeah, it costs piety, but that does the trick. Let's get to the next level. Uh... Ooh. I still got a reasonable amount of health left. Oh, come on. I guess I'll do the shadow, but I didn't really want to. Yeah, Pandemonium definitely loves to burn through the <laughs> piety. Uh, thank goodness, the next level. Not giving me a lot of runes, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. It's keeping me in here longer, <laughs> looking for those ones. Uh... What runes has it given me? Because it gave me the it gave me the demonic one on the holy level. And I think that's all it's given me so far. Oh, what's this pandemonium blood? Blink allies encircling some dragons. I mean that's okay. Let's haste itself up though. How are it's for this? Oh, no cold resist, okay. That's kinda nice, at least.
And I do need to go to the next level. Oh, I might just challenge the magic points. See if I can get up that way. There we go. Now I get it to, to no rune level. Now oh, again, no rune. But I do get a blinking scroll at least. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to have to rely very much on the Polar Vortex more, more magic sapped. At least I don't have to cast the Polar Vortex much. Just every now and then. Man, this is one of the most tedious pandemoniums ever, not giving anything. It's got it's a good thing this is not a speedrun character, otherwise you would have spent way too many turns. Oh, there's the way out. Okay, next region of pandemonium, I guess, although I might drop the old shield, old cloak, uh another shield. Yeah, I got the region one on, which is probably necessary, unfortunately. I don't know, I've got so many ways of like getting ice, um, rings of ice, but I'm giving you more power, this wouldn't help with my resist. Alright, I'll tell you invocation's going, it's going well. I might just, I'm trying to get the title for it, but it's not, I mean, I'm in, uh, Pandemony, which doesn't give a lot of XP, so it's kind of making progress, but not much like, oh, hey, I'm marked, but that's fine. Uh, the good thing is I'm on the level of Pandemony that has a rune, finally. So I don't want to just leave this one. I want to search around for a rune. What's for Glorix Vlogs' resist like? I feel like he might have some cold resist. Uh, yeah, he's got one cold resist. He doesn't actually have that much. He does this with a spell dead range, which is a bit of a worry, and he's super fast. Uh... Let me just go look at the shatter spell, see how far off uh, getting cursed by him. That's not useful. Shatter. 100% failure. Oh, I'll grab it anyway. So. Yeah, it's gonna have to wait a little while. Yeah, these guys are kind of coming along past like getting magic points, but that's fine. I'm slowly, slowly, I think, making progress on this level. Polyphonics, this guy as well. It's probably it's a reasonable, efficient way of killing things. It's like nine magic points that sticks around for a little while, it does quite a bit of damage in total. Uh, and of course, uh, it's a nice thing it also hits multiple creatures if there are multiple creatures. Or this is mainly just like one creature coming along at a time type situations that I'm having to deal with here. I haven't seen anything that resembles the um, boss chambers just yet. But it's got to be surrounded by, like, fairly square-looking walls. Because uh, the boss shape is always really square with Glorix block. But is there, I think there are multiple different types of boss chambers, but they all look the same on the outside. That's not it. In fact, it might be, might be in here. It's kind of a big square of the right size missing in the level. Oh, yeah, this looks just like it. Can I just figure out where the rune is and then go steal it or something? The answer is maybe. Um. 
In fact, I think the rune might be right back here, would be my guess. It's not necessarily the case, but uh, it's definitely one that puts the rune back here. You know, I'm gonna try a. I might try a divine exergy and sort of shatter, see if I can open it up. Okay. Suddenly, executioners in here. I'll do a lot. Um. Okay, I don't have the Polar Vortex going right now. I might just blink, but I'm not sure that'll get me very far. Uh, does get my Polar Vortex back, though. Oh, whoops. Ah. How are there so many of these executions around on this level? This is crazy. Um. Oh, no, I think I miscast something. Um, I'm gonna irradiate it again, but I'm getting myself kind of contaminated right now. I just back up a bit. I think I attracted the entire level of executioners all at once. Well, there's still definitely more of them. Okay, there we go. So I can head back into here. I might have tried to Glorix Vlog as well. We'll see. How's my party, like, still full? I mean, channeling magic, like, every second turn <laughs> at this point. Well, not every second turn, but basically every second turn. Um. I guess these executioners are just lost, worth a lot of fighting when they killed them. Or something. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, I'll start my teleport, but this is Glorix Vlog. Kind of in a crowded spot. Well, that was quick going off with the teleport. Um, sure. Right, so that was not really helping me get the, uh, ruined by shattering in there, unfortunately. This kind of gave me another way in. But it might give me some idea of the layout of the level, maybe? I can get back <laughs> just a few magic points here would be nice. Okay. Right, I see how this is. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, I understand the level now, and I did not channel in the right spot. Also, this was probably a pretty hard one to steal the rune, but I might at least be able to open it up with a bit more shadow, maybe? Because I don't really like how closed off this is. Um, I've got to try to just open it up a little bit. Hopefully this is alright. Oh, it didn't open up as much as I'd like. Alright, there he is. Um, yeah... Not really a more open spot for me to stand, is there? But the rune would be right here, so I might just be able to shatter it and steal the rune. That's an option, I think. I'm sitting here. I don't know. Hopefully I don't shatter to the wrong spot. Uh -huh. Can I retreat back? Because he's probably going to wander towards the noise, and then I think he'll wander back to his rune chamber. There we go. I can see the rune now. So I should have apportation. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it a long time ago. I haven't used it before. Excellent. Well, that's what I came to this level for, is rune. So I can just get out of here now.
Oh, just chat with magic and then leave. So I've got uh, got a decent chunk more levels to go. Yeah, I got three more pandemonium more to go. The fiery one, magical one, and glowing one. Um, my fires are still not quite there, is it? Oh well. How am I going with the teleports? Oh, I'm down the uh, ten of those. All right, I see. Uh, I gotta open this door. I feel like there's some chance of getting a uh, way on. Why am I willpower stripped? I kind of been worried about that with because I know some of the pandemonium lots and stuff can strip uh target willpower once you've had it stripped. All right, next level. No rune. Oh, there's ghost boss in there for sure. Huh? Why do I sell magic points? Oh, there's one up there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these are all gonna have ghost moths in them. Except for maybe this one might not for some reason. If I can just find a. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Way off the level. That's what I'm after. Because that one uh, does have the demonic rune sometimes, but I've already got a demonic rune, so. I mean, you can't get a demonic rune twice, so it's pointless. Uh. Let's just do do bombard and distortion. Uh Okay. Is that another polar vortex going? Hey, monthly invocations. It's time to get the OS magic now. Oh, I might as well master the ice as well. But yeah, getting the Earth Magic should allow me to cast Shadow, which is still 100% failure, of course. But if I get it to the way to 27, uh, oh, yeah, they glory flock. Goodbye. I think I pulled someone with me. Maybe not. There was a like a little invisible dude next to me, but apparently didn't follow. Uh, what does this one do? Fire Thumb. All right. A little bit scary. I does seem to be dying fairly quick. There we go. Uh, oh, still no runes. Not on this level anyway. Uh, oh, that's that bag magic. All right. How does that sad magic last? I think it depends how many times it manages to stack it on me. I don't feel like when it first gets off, it doesn't last that long. And then it probably gets to build up to a reasonable level. Oh. Uh, this one's kind of the worry with the whole damnation, but, uh, there we go. Doesn't live very long in the polar vortex, which is a good thing. What does this pandemonium do, Lord do? Because I'm not full health. It does several torment, which is fine. Dimension egg is fine. It can't affect me with it. Visibility is fine, so it's a bit faster than me. It does a decent amount of damage in melee. That doesn't seem very good with its cold resist, so... That makes my life a bit better. There we go. That's my exit to the next level. Hey! It's a magic rune! Uh, cold one. Well, this might have to be a bit of thievery. Uh, so, I do have good cold resist, but... Polar Vortex is exactly known for doing damage to things that are immune to cold. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's half damage. 
But I feel like, uh, when, what's the name? Lob Lobon is going to be quite resistant to everything they do, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen the boss chambers yet, but there's kind of a one corner of the map that's looking suspiciously empty right now. I think you're big enough to tell the boss chamber as well. Okay, I do like to look at that scroll of blinking. I knew that was like huge numbers of the scroll of blinking, but I'm actually doing pretty well with those now. Yeah, because I've been fighting quite a lot of them in pandemonium, I think. All right, I can uh, I can fly because of my armor as well, which can be helpful. This uh, water. Uh, haven't recognized the layout just yet, but I do know that I'm not near the boss right now. Yeah, because it's always going to fall. It's the same pattern. You just follow this to the wherever it leads, and you get a boss. Uh. But it's nice to be able to like recognize it before you get there so you know exactly which um which door you go through to get to the boss. I think if I go around this way, it leads me. I might actually pop a magic mapping on this level, try and figure out whether it um renewed is. Okay, good. I see where it is. Yeah, that's about where I thought. So come on, Shadow, don't disappoint me. All right, there we go. That got me a rune. So I've still got, uh, still got the fiery one. I've still got the glowing one to go. But I don't think I, there's any reason for me to fight a freezing boss. We're trying to do cold, but cold's not gonna do the trick. All right. Oh, there's a fiery rune on this level somewhere. And my magic's very sapped. In fact, I'm like uh, in the middle of the boss chambers, but thankfully. Not at the boss. I should be able to do good damage to Sterabon, but he's always got tons of health, so usually I had to teleport out a few times. Uh, but I do have regen at least. So when I come back, he shouldn't be up to full health just yet. How do I get another fire resist? So I've got one ring giving me electric resistant magic points. I can probably swap that one out with... Um, I brought the fire, yeah, I might bring the fire of this electric one, so I lose some magic points, but, oh, for this are actually better. And the, the fire rings don't have your ice spells anymore, I don't believe, so I'm still doing fine with the, fire, uh, the ice magic. Hey, it'll teleport good, because they're going to need some of those. I believe I'm on the wrong side for the boss right now. Oh, what's the sort of this one? Fire to this color of this? Eh, whatever. I'm doing five of those right now, but yeah, this side here is where the boss is at. Kind of driving me to a spot where my polar vortex wasn't quite working. I feel like just refrigerating these fire guys because I tried to take these out with fire swords before on other characters, and that was kind of tedious. All right, getting close to the boss. Uh, I can't really do any buffs, right? Because I'm a mummy. <laughs> All right then. I don't want him hasted, I don't think. Uh, 
But I probably should start the teleport now. Oh, I'm already out of there. Alright, well, I better get back into the boss chambers before he manages to heal up or something. Alright, this guy's getting setting my bandages on fire, which isn't quite right. Alright, there we go. I've got my magic back. Got my health back. And he's still wounded, which is what I like to see. Ooh, he did a bit of damage to me there. I better stop being hasted up. Which I failed at. I'll start the teleport, but then I'll stop being hasted up. Ooh, uh... Hello, guys. I think I just refrigerate them. Ooh, ow. No, this is sketchy. I've got to do a blink back to here, I think. Alright. Yeah, because I got slowed somehow. But he's, uh, he's a bit more wounded. I'm going to have to heal up though before I go back and fight him. But I'm making progress on this fight. Okay. Give me my health back. Oh, he's quite close. Uh Hey. Okay. Oh, that was something hitting me for a bit of damage there. I'll start the teleport, but it's gonna take a few turns to go off. Uh I don't actually don't have any magic right now. I might just Move back. I should teleport right there. We go right now. Where's he gone? He's gone back into his boss chamber, doesn't he? Uh, Paul Vortex is up. Hey, he's dead. Excellent. That, that took a bit, but I got him eventually. That's what it's usually like, though. He's got, I think he's got like 650 health or something. He's a lot more healthy than your average enemy. Okay, and that's, is that my, I still the glowing rune left to go, so it's not my last rune yet. Uh, that fire just minus gold of this. Regen magic points? No, it's harm as well. Which, uh, not quite what I'm after. Do you think it's possible to do extended with a stabber? It's definitely possible. I've done it once, and it was hard. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it on first attempt, definitely not. But I did a... I think it was a kobold... I don't know, I might have started to bring it or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Of uh, Wujin. And I just went around and stabbed him, I think. Or maybe, no, I might have done an or stabber. Hold up. Have I done multiple stabbers or just the one? They've taken it to extended. I've definitely had an Ushkeo stabber actually in extended. Hmm. Because I was charging up my ability and then fight the grand finale uh, bosses. I, was, I think I had the Cobalt of Wujin actually. Not Wujin. Uh, what's the name? Ushkeo. Because I know I was definitely charging up and insta killing bosses. Alright, well, next level. Ow. I don't think I can kill him. I'm going to have to teleport. Wait, I'm not very far. Okay, I gotta, gotta get away from some of these pandemonium blobs that got following me. Actually, can I bring up the character? What was I? I was, uh... What would it be? It would be... I see, it might be this character. I'll see if it was a kobold. That's a merry kobold. That wouldn't have been the one. 
But there was two kobolds that got 15 runes worth. I'll see what the other one was. Uh, kobold, Artifice of Rishkeor. Save the orb of 15 runes. Yeah, I think that might be the one. That looks like it. So I thought the Cobalt Artifice of Bishkeo. Yep, that's the one. It took quite a few attempts, though, to get that to work. Um, hey, Glowing Rune. All right, so I should start with the magic mapping so I don't spend too long at this level and get too much degen. Uh, I've got a long way to go. But unfortunately, I had a character meet there and on this level of Pandemonium fairly recently, but I think this character's got a better chance. I know, challenge the magic. These guys are definitely not letting up. Uh, oh, Lob Lobod. Okay, then. Let's divide exegesis with some Maxwells. Hopefully this is fine. Alright. I should have maybe done that to some of the other ones, but... Alright, that's the trick, I guess. Because I don't want to have to be dealing with Lob Low Bob when I'm dealing with the rest of this level. Uh... Oh, my only intelligence and stuff has actually not been drained. I'm kind of surprised on that. I know they usually get the draining beginning to build up a little bit. All right. Uh... So I'll stick around anywhere too long or I think I might get swamped. Right, that's a little bit of degeneration. That's kind of what I was expecting to get. I'll hide around this little corner for a little while, see if I get the uh, track the boss from here. Uh, I heard the boss saying something. I don't think I tracked them in, though. Oh, there they are. Okay, um, we can refrigerate them a little bit. Uh, I think I'm losing my polar vortex. Yeah, that's disappearing, definitely. Still minus uh, vortex. I think I might start a teleport just in case because this is not looking perfect. Um. Hey, no, wait, that might not be the bit. I thought I killed him. Yeah, there we go. Kill Vanolik. Excellent. So when I can back in, I won't have to deal with him again, thankfully. Uh. How far am I from where I need to be? Not too far. It's going to go around here, I guess. Oh, I'll we'll just have miscast my polyvonics. Fair enough, I guess. All right, so the, oh, there's one more of these guys. And there's some runes sitting right here. So that's all my pandemonium runes. Nine runes, that sounds about right. So... I got the abyssal rune, but I, I just want to get out of here. However, I can. I'll just take the closest exit out. And then I can get to the abyss from another level. One that's not going to be more mutating me. But I didn't get really any stat drain, which is nice. Because I know sometimes you can on that level. 
But the glowing level is actually tough in like terms of both toughness and getting more mutated. Well, stat drain for this character. Now. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, that would say not really any reason for me to go. Oh, these guys are mute cold, aren't they? Um, not really any reason for me to take the portal to the next level just yet. Uh, unless I don't like the group of creatures that I'm fighting on here, but these look okay. No, oh, well, these don't look the best. Okay. Oh, well, it might still be telling magic. You know what, I might try the next level, see if that one's any better. Um, I don't mind Tormentors, those are, those are pretty friendly for a mummy. Yeah, you can just hang out, chill for a while. I think they do like a little bit of melee damage, but it's like nothing. Hey, there we go, that's the abyss, this wasn't too hard to find. Uh, so I start on Abyss 1, I've, I haven't been uh, banished before, I guess that means, but I need to head down, and there's a staircase right there for me to take. Can I get sick as a mommy? I don't feel like I can. Oh, the guy didn't make me sick. Doesn't mean I can't. Alright, there we go, there's another way down, which I should take, this is level 3, this is probably as deep as I want to go with this character. Because I'm feeling okay in here, but I'm not like anything special or doing the abyss or anything. Uh... Oh, at least didn't quite die, that's fine. <laughs> Easy enough to fix that. But yeah, I have to constantly be telling magic just to kind of stay in the abyss, right? Because... I mean, it doesn't, no, it doesn't regen very fast for me. It's a gateway leading out. Uh... Oh, I guess I can go out and refresh my magic points or whatever, but I'm gonna have to just go straight back in because I still need the rune. Uh, I can drop. Oh, I should probably keep the regen on. That makes sense. That tablet doesn't make any sense. Ice ring probably doesn't make any sense because it would mess with my resist. Although, maybe, actually, no. That might make sense. In the, in the icy hell, I might be able to use it or something. I don't know. We'll see. I think I wouldn't need much fire This is all the icy hell. I mean, sometimes you get a fire guy. Uh, no, I don't go down. That's a bad idea. You know what? Yo, I'll go out, go back in, go to the next. Basically, it puts me somewhere else. Gets me another chance of getting the rune, I think. Oh, that didn't quite kill those two, that's fine. Well, wow, there's like bottles out everywhere for whatever reason this time round. Okay, so many, so many bottles, but no runes. One's down, there's one's out. Wherever you could want a portal to, there's a portal to it. Um. Hey, there we go, that's the rune. I'm headed straight towards it. I might have to shatter to get to it, but that's fine if that if I have to shatter. Uh, although I might have gone to the front entrance of this guy, which is kind of unusual. 
I feel like the majority of the time you end up like perfectly opposite from where you want to be. All right, I think I can airport that rune now until they don't think I'm standing on deep water, right? Well, that was easy enough. I'll just channel some more magic because it's getting kind of low. But now I just got to find a way out, which shouldn't take too long. At least if it's been anything like the previous portals I found out of here. Uh... Hey, there we go. That did not take too long at all. Uh, come on, follow Vortex. You there? There we go. i uh, now going to go to Hell, I think. But I've got 10 runes. I should do. So there's four runes from Hell and one rune for the Iron City of Dust. Oh, the Shadow's getting there. Oh, the only thing just the two vengeance. It's, yeah, it's making some progress. 77% failure. All right, let's go to... Let's go to Hell Entrance. Uh... It's gonna chill out in the center, I think, for a little while. Oh, I'm still jelling magic. That's lasting a while. Something invisible, but it probably doesn't really matter what it is. It's gonna gonna die pretty quick. Some of the things that can come along could be a little bit harder to kill, but no, not of these things. Uh, okay, it's probably getting closer, but I should go up, I think. Yeah, let's just head up for a little while. Just to try and get a little bit of health back. All right, also, I should look if I've got any enchant armor right now, because I could uh, go back to my old shield. Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right. And I don't think I need that horn for anything. Did I get a... Don't think I got a, like, a treasure trove. Not, not seeing it on this list. I'm seeing hell of burst pandemonium zigger out this fine. Because if I did, there's a good chance of having what it needs to get in. Uh... I can probably do the fiery hell because uh, this. Oh wait, this fudge and there's no scrolls, which is a bit savage. Uh, I want my um shadow line for the freezing hell though, so I don't think I'll do that one first. Uh. So where do I want to go? I mean, I can go to Tartarus. I've muted a lot of the stuff in there. I think there is the spell dead on the sits middles, but. Everything else is not too bad. Yeah, so probably Tartarus first. I'll leave the Iron City of Dust I've got Chatter as well, which doesn't... Uh, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving a lot of places I've got Chatter, which... Yeah, I was on 58%, it's getting there. I might be able to get it on time. Okay, is that Tartarus? No, it's the Iron City of Dust. Okay, I'll start with Tartarus. Uh, I might go back to my protection shield, I guess. Willpower still max, is it? No, actually, the willpower is kind of useful in this. I don't know. Either kind of works. I guess I go back to the regen. Wait, why is that? You gotta switch? There we go. I don't know what's going on there. For some reason, I didn't want to switch my shield for a little while. Uh, that was fine, man. Okay, these are all fine. I don't think I grabbed the one with slow. I mean, it's all right. Let's go into Tartarus, see what's, uh, see what's going on here. Let's go down. I know I'm marked, but... Ooh. How resistant to cold are these guys? They got a little bit of cold resist, which may be a bit of a problem. Yeah, they do do a bit of damage to me, some of these guys. 
Uh, I still fifty six percent fail in the shadow. I mean, it's at the point where I can like easily pop over the wall with it, but I can't really use it as like an in combat spell, right? Uh. Alright, next level. So this is level three. I can't easily get held, right? Because my willpower is sitting on the uh, well, it's sitting on two and a half pips of willpower, which is the most you can have on here. When it's halved. So yeah, there's not really much you can do about that. Oh, this guy can probably paralyze me, right? That's twenty seven percent, yeah. Hmm. It's not even very good at being frozen either. Alright, um, let's go down to fourth level. Yeah, just, oh, try and get some of these guys a polar vortex. I think those mounts are pretty harmless. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they actually do anything that actually affects me. Hold up, where's my polar vortex? I try to get it out, but I think I miscast, um, which didn't help the most. Oh, these guys can throw rocks at me. I guess the Tate of the are kind of competent combatants. I don't think this mark matters. This level's so small. I've been making tons of noise. Yeah, it did nothing, really. Alright, let's go down again. Level 5. Making some progress. And my stats are not too bad. My dex is the worst at 12. Um, just fine. <laughs> It's just unlikely to be drained to zero, I think, when it's sitting at 12. I usually like to have them at least 10, because that seems, uh, I don't know, but it doesn't have to be exactly 10, but that seems to be about the sweet point where they don't tend to get drained to zero when you go down levels. And you need to, because the max drain you get when you go down each level is 5, so if it does really spam the same attribute over and over, even having it at 10 could be a problem, but it's unlikely. Uh... I'm worried about how much damage these guys are doing to me. Oh. Lost my Vortex I got held. Hold up. I need a... I need a blink back to here. Gotta take some damage, unfortunately, but I get rid of the howl of myself. Uh-huh. Five with the health, but I don't want to get any lower. Wow, I'm gonna rough magic points. Um, sure. All right, I should get rid of this how. Um, I'll do a little bit of damage to the guy next to me, which might be enough. Oh, if I didn't miscast it. Uh, wait, what the? What am I doing? Why am I not getting the spell I'm after? Nah, I didn't kill the guy next to me, but it got rid of the hell at least. Right, uh, so this is level 7. Last level of Tartarus here. Uh... Going fine. Kinda. Sorta. Wait, can I just, uh, can I just grab a tambourine this guy away from me? I know it's not that many guys, so I'm gonna give it a try. Pulled it back a little bit, okay. Uh... A couple of guys that can throw rocks at me, but I don't think it's too bad.
Oh, the, the, the little spirit guy, little shade or whatever it's called, next to me to slow me down. That's how I got slowed in this area. No, that makes sense. Uh... Right. Pull some magic, but I'm going to have to start that channeling again as soon as I can. I just keep an eye out on the layout here, see if I can spot the boss chambers. Uh, it's not looking at anything too much like the boss chambers. Keep it exploring because the boss chambers are usually fairly obvious. In fact, I uh, think there's a good chance that this right here might be a maze. I mean, I have to go around it to be sure, but it looks like it's it. Yeah, it looks pretty much like there's a big maze over here, which will be the boss chamber. I can't even step back from this guy because it's got me mesmerized, which seems to be happening a lot this time around. Oh, sometimes you can get through here without being mesmerized too much, but maybe that's just if you're like immune to mesmerize. Because you can be. Uh, like with Action Zari or the Adult of the Four Winds or a mutation. I mean, those will work, I guess. All right, yeah, this is 100% the boss chambers. Um, you know what? I'm just going to skip the maze. I'll probably be able to find the boss, but... Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, start the teleport, actually. There's the boss. You know what? I don't think I have to find the boss. That'll do. I'm out of here. I got my rune. That's what I came for. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't have any teleports left. I'm down to five of those, which is a bit of a problem. But I won't be needing them for the uh, tomb at least. Alright. 30% uh, failed the shadow. That's not that much yet. I guess I gotta try this fiery kel at some stage. Alright. I can freeze guys in here. We should do a decent amount of damage. Sometimes it seems to freeze a little bit after I cast my spell. Um, wondering if that's a server or whether that's my connection. Because my connection's been a little funky today. I feel like my. I mean, I'm, my upload rate is going just fine because I can see that my, um, like if I go to OBS, I can see that my stream is running just fine. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like my download rate might be a little bit lower than sometimes. All right, let's head downstairs. Most levels are easy, and then sometimes you get levels that are really nasty. Is how the how this works, and because you can't teleport out if something goes wrong. And the levels that are really nasty can be a big problem. This is fine. Freeze a few more guys from my... Well, patch of fire here. Because I don't think these guys can actually get to me very well. And also I do like the polar vortex. Because then that pulls them in. Which I probably should. Alright, next level. I the channel magic going. I'll just uh, refrigerate stuff as the polar vortex does its thing. Gotta make sure every turn that the channel magic's still going and that I get the uh, polar vortex up and running when I need to. Well, when I can. No, I feel like the polar vortex has got to be the best spell here, which makes sense, because this is the fiery hell, right? So, not much that would, uh, well, it should, like, from, like, a flavor standpoint, it should be the best. Uh, wait, can you type in chat where you're streaming from? I certainly can. Oh, like the, like, the server, or... Uh... Because I'm, I'm doing the CPO, uh, so I guess I'll try even CPO. 
Hopefully that's uh that's enough of a hint. I think it's a there's more of a name for that. It's um Yeah, if it grabs us, but send that in chat. Does that actually work? Does it open up properly? Yeah, it looks like it does good. Uh oh I need to someone followed, right? Wait, who was that that followed? It's Zoo Crew. I appreciate you following there. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. And I hope if you're playing Crawl, it's treating you right and not killing your characters too early. Oh, it's in Australia, it might be way across the world. Yup, yeah, that can definitely slow things down. Um. No, because I play on the Australian server and, um. I'm connected to the Australian Twitch server as well. At least I should be. Oh, I should channel a bit of magic, but this is going really well. Oh, I'll channel a little bit more. But my party is maxed out. In fact, I've never... Wait. I haven't been given a spell gift in forever, right? Which means I must have the complete list of spells? That must be uh, true, I think. Because otherwise Sith Martyr would be giving me... Oh no, sometimes it can be... When you're running really low on things be gifted, sometimes uh, I think Sith Martyr just gives up after trying to find a book uh, a few times and can't find nothing with spells that can be gifted. So I must be, like, really close to having all the spells. Makes sense. This character's going standard with Sith Mana, so I would have all the spells. Let's give it a refrigerator that guy. It's maybe not the most effective it's just one guy, but... It's doing the trick. Mike's okay. What I'm worried about is that I've lost, uh, I haven't lost half my health, but I've lost some of my health. Okay, I need to get rid of that guy. Let's just retreat back a bit more. But I should probably get all the way back to the staircase. I probably won't need to go up. No, I don't need to go up. I got my health back, at least. All right, where's the way down? This is the last level. Uh, drain, what? One strength? That doesn't matter. Oh, wait. Uh, I should refrigerate those so I get both of them. Oh, hey, I see a, see a message. Hey, it's... Uh... Kareem? I'm watching through here. I wonder how the difference is in terms of lag. Like, watching directly in the game probably would be better, I'd imagine, than watching on Twitch. Because uh, it would have to send, like, a lot less information. Because it would just have to, like, send out the, the same sort of game state that it sends when you're playing. And then I think it renders the tiles locally. Oh, okay, I'm running myself out of magic points. That's right, the polar vortex is always the most effective against the lava, because the lava brings out so much steam that sometimes it doesn't spread properly, but uh, if you can stay on the land, it's pretty effective. Like, really effective in here. Uh... Actually, I should... It's not the vortex again, but I should probably be just hitting these guys with the... Um, the pub of frost because I think that's doing a bit more. I might close this chat up. Not that there's anything really useful on that side of the screen. I think that's just a enemy list or something that goes on that side of the screen. It's probably exactly why the chat is there. All right.
Oh, fine, I'll channel the magic. I sounds like I probably need to go grab myself a faith tablet, right? No, because I'm going to swap gods. I was actually thinking about getting a Rue title, but, um... I have to check what Rue titles I have left at some stage. Alright. I don't think there's much in here. There's, oh, there's a, there's a tough enemy, but I don't think there's much in terms of treasure. Oh, manual of pull-ups. Actually, that manual's not too bad. I mean, pull-ups doesn't help me, but he has a decent chance of getting a good manual out there. Although, to be fair, at this point in the game, I've maxed out a lot of the skills that I actually use. Um. Oh, hey, thanks for the sub uh, there, Gazeran. I really appreciate that one. It's uh, two months. All right. Oh, I definitely appreciate that one. Uh, are there any buffs they can put on before fighting the boss here? I keep on asking that question, but like, I think the answer is still no, because I'm still a mummy. That hasn't changed in the... I don't know, last few fights or anything. I don't need a staff of fire. It's basically, it's just basic staff of fire. Yeah, the pause were just gonna do nothing, right? Because I'm a, I'm still a mummy. Uh, boss has got to be up here. Could try steal the rune, but I don't know about that. I think I might just go fight the boss normally. Hey, there he is. Okay, I'll hit him with the permafrost. Oh, he's out of range. Uh, now he's in a good spot for the permafrost. Okay, he's doing rather a lot of damnation. I don't like how much he's doing. But there we go, he's dead. Yeah, it's usually his brimstone fears that are a problem. At least they can't be tormented, but they can still do their damnation, which... Definitely adds up over time. Uh, I got gold dragon armor. I don't think I'm going to need that though. We've got, ooh, staff of ice. What's it got on it? Sea invisible? I don't think I can actually see invisible. Like, I've got a really long time without being able to see invisible. Yeah, let's put that one on. Willpower, whatever. Um,. So regen ammo? No, that's not that good. Uh, that's another staff of fire. That was got a bit of strength, but this uh, this is a good staff. All right, yeah. I mean, look at those resists. <laughs> They're looking pretty maxed out there. I don't think I need to worry about resist on this character. Have you done this yet? No, I haven't. I'm trying to get shattered for that one, which is down to twelve percent failure. So I might be able to head on there pretty soon. I could do it next. Oh, your character lived with 1 HP out of that. It does. 1 HP. I mean, I guess that's all you need. Wow, that's, um, that would have been absolutely terrifying. And that wasn't, was that with, like, the, what's it called? The, uh, Dream Shard Amulet on, or just without? I mean, I've been reduced to 1 HP before without the Dream Shard. Yeah, the Iron City of Dust is generally one of the places I leave to last, because, um, I mean... It's kind of just hard for any character, really. Where some characters are like, some plays are hard for specific characters. But. Uh, double checking on the room, which I do. So I got Coastliners, I'd seen a dozen Tomb of Agents. I can do those in pretty much any order. Um. I might go do the Icy one. Can I go. Hold on, if I'm going to be using Earth Magic, do I have a Staff of Earth? Uh... I do. Yeah, I guess I go grab it. Why not? So I lose, uh, Sea Invisible, but that's probably fine. I should put this on. 
And then I'll go into uh, cositis. Cositis is what letters? Cositis. I don't usually go to it using letters. X, apparently. Oh, you were without a um, Dream Shot Amulet and still got one hit points? Man, okay. Yeah, that was definitely living dangerously. Uh, I gotta change my equipment. I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of shatter. Let's start the, start the channel magic going. Just in case. But shatter is super excellent here. It's one of um, one of the best spells. It's up there, kind of, with Firestorm. In fact, yeah, I think the thing it doesn't do so well with is the Ice, um, Ice Fiends, which is fine. Those aren't massively scary for this character. They got the whole mummy form going for me. I feel no pain. Uh, saw the channel magic. Yeah, like, that's gonna take a little bit longer to die than some of the other guys. No, oh, I'll, I'll do some more channel magic, I guess. I don't know how much more stuff is gonna be long. Look like it was just that one guy, unfortunately. Uh... It makes sense to start the channel magic early. That's something that I didn't used to be very good at, but, um... Yeah, because it gives magic over time. You want to start it well truly before you run out of magic. And then it'll basically stop you running out of magic. Whereas if you start it later on, you'll only be able to cast like half the time or something. And it won't be quite as good. Now there is just like, oh right, these guys. Um, why don't the ice feeds die so easy? They fly up in the air and the shadow does, I think, is it one third damage? I don't know, whatever it is, it's less damage against things that fly up in the air. Uh, how do I? I can't really freeze these guys because they got two cold resist. I don't feel like Shadow's gonna do much. I'm gonna give it a try. I was, I mean, the Polar Vortex is doing alright. The Shadow's not so much because those guys are flying. Right, so I have found a thing that I actually do struggle with in here. He's sort of struggle with. Um,. Alright, well, so, like, at least the, the rest of... Yeah, it's everything that flies is the problem, I guess. That's why it's nice to have a uh, fire storm as well. Saw the channel magic. Oh, man. Um... I think I need to blink back and have a little bit of a break from this fight. Oh, there's a way down. Actually, not a bad idea to straight up taking that one. And it does put me down here a little bit wounded, but... This actually looks good, considerably better than where I was. Um... Alright, come on, channel magic. Get my magic points back, because it's still courageous here. The slime's also resistant to the uh, shadow, but that doesn't really matter because I don't think that any of those can get up to me. Back up a little bit. Um, I don't think I can actually do it to this guy. I mean, I guess I can pull the Vortex so it will do something. Uh, shadow does something. It's just not that impressive. Hey, Master Earth Magic, excellent. So I should get Fighting, and I should get Shields. Maybe Spellcasting, but I don't think I'm having too many problems with my magic points. If 4% fail on my spells, it's like, fine. I can live with that. Uh, in fact, improving my Shield skill is probably not a bad way to actually bring down those cast chances either. I don't actually know what sort of level I've got, but it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, yeah, okay.
Is that the robe of the night? That's the one that reduced your vision. I don't know if I actually need that one, but I'll pick it up. Might as well add it to my collection of artifacts. I kind of got somewhat of a collection of artifacts, right? I try and something else as well. I had to, uh, no, I might have dropped them. Oh, the octopus king rig. Uh, nah, I probably dropped most of my artifacts. Oh, okay. Threw it up for a top second there. That's fine. I'll see these guys again. Okay, start the polar vortex. Oh, I failed the polar vortex. I'll actually, within the next bit, I'm going to radiate them. That works okay. Uh, sure, I got myself like mega contaminated there with the radiant, but it doesn't really matter when I'm mummy. That's, you know, mummies are actually not bad at this point in the game. There's a lot of slime creatures, but I think this is still fine. Yeah, especially when you're like, this would be absolutely painful without Sif Mana because I'm relying so heavily on my channel magic to keep my magic points up, right? <laughs> but. No, this actually, this feels good, which is not usual for um, mummies. And I think it was mainly, well, partly thanks to the permafrost that was uh, keeping me going for a while there. It really did help me out with the creatures that weren't very affected by cold damage. I don't need damnation. Not really. But I'll pick it up. Uh, okay, I gotta figure out what the boss chamber is. It's either... I reckon it's probably right up this way, actually. I might go this way. Yeah, in fact, that ice statue makes me even more sure. Oh, the boss. That's, uh, that confirms it. Don't think he has poison for this, so I'll slow him down. Actually, I got channel magic, which is basically cheating into here. Um, he doesn't fly, right? Good, good, good. I'll just shatter him, I guess. And of course, I'll start a polar vortex, just add a bit more damage. Did I forget? Did I not channel my magic? What am I doing? I mean, I'm channeling it now. Uh, I don't really want to be in, like, melee range of him. I know that that doesn't work very well. Hey, he was, he was super easy. Yeah, I mean, Charlie Magic is basically cheating with him. Hey there, Dumont Dow. How's it going? How have you been? Have you... Have you been doing more necromancers? I don't know. I, don't, I personally don't massively like the necromancer start, but I feel like if you got one going, it could be they are quite good. Oh, how about you? I'm uh, doing pretty well today. Yeah, for some reason, last night, though, I just slept, like, way longer than I was meant to. I, like, slept through my alarm and just slept for, like, 12 hours. But now I feel really good, so presumably I needed to sleep. Um, <laughs> I'd see just the Tomb of two Ages. I might go, not there, I might go to the Tomb of Ages. I think I've got everything I need. My shadow's nice and reliable. Uh, right, what I should do is, like, yeah, shadow that wall like that. I've been trying again, but the start is rough. Yeah. No, I mean, I've done late game necromancy, like, occasionally, and that was pretty good, but I've never really got very good with the start. Um, I've always struggled, like, there's something comes along, and you, I just can't affect it. But I know that uh, some other people are better at me than the start. Ooh, I'll just pull the Vortex, this guy. Uh, ow. Gotta be fine, though. It has Holy Wrath Claws, which actually do him way more than I thought it would. Because I don't have as much shield value with some of my characters that come in here. Um, I guess doesn't help. Alright. I've got a nice Naga Alchemist going. I should go back to Alchemist at some stage. The start is rough. Stealth and Alchemy helped save you. Yeah, I really liked the Alchemy start when I started, but Nagas can definitely change things up a bit with their slow movement. Um, in fact, I think I've only played like three Naga games. So I should really try another one at some stage. Actually, do I have anything on my list of things I want to play? I'm not sure. I mean, I kind of just want to play a lot of Ice Elementals right now because they're really 
they're really good right now. Like they don't, don't feel bad. I'm just worried they'll be nerfed and they'll go back to feeling bad. Um, so I feel like I want to learn uh, when some of the hardest ice elementalist combos I can do while the ice elementalists are good. Uh, I should go up. <laughs> I mean, I can't always channel magic, but might as well not do it when I don't have to. Uh, I don't want to explore too much that way, because otherwise when I shatter, I'll pop over that wall and attract more stuff. So I should actually just uh, make sure I smash all the walls as I'm going along so that I don't uh, have things hiding in them. I'm going to see you doing tomb. You suck here. Yeah, I mean, I'm a mummy. I've kind of got an advantage, right? Uh, I'm worried about those... Uh, what were they called? Those guys at the uh, Holy Rathclaw guys. But everything else is not going to be too bad as the mummy. I mean, this is the equivalent of doing it in uh, Lich form, effectively. Uh, I might need a bit more magic. Polar Vortex does well against these guys. Okay. Um... Revenants? Do Revenants have, like, Dispel Dead or something? I feel like they've got something, like, you were forgetting about. Uh, with Revenant. Yeah, Dispel Dead range. It's kind of funny how the enemies get the range version of Dispel Dead, but when you get it, it's just, like, the, the little melee one. Oh, wait. Polar Vortex. Just give him backing up, I guess. That was the first one of those ones. It's so much worse than all the other ones I've done. I don't know what was up with that. Uh... I just saw you were playing Mummy. Yeah, Mummy. I wish I had a lot of fun with this Mummy. No, because I, I started the Ice Element list, came with the ice, and it's been, been a bunch of fun. Uh, have you tried the new Ice Element list to do what now? Because it's... I mean, the start hasn't changed, but there's a new um, Permafrost Eruption spell, and it's kind of nice. Because it does some amount of melee damage, so if something's immune to cold, you can still damage it, which is nice, because it makes, like, the... It makes the ceiling fall on someone, except, it, like, it freezes the ceiling and makes it fall on someone. Um... I oh, haven't tried it yet? Yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a try at some stage. I'm just gonna get out of this staircase. Right. So where I want to be is up there, which is fine, but I'll just shatter some of the stuff. It's out of... Oh, come on, I want to start Polar Vortex. Something will get in rage. And I feel like most things die, but I'm just going to go up and they'll go uh, straight back down. <laughs> repeat the repeat the cycle. All right, and uh, let's uh, let's do that walk over again. Although I think I might have kind of run out of creatures by now. Um, do I need a regen in here? Because I've got the other shield that I've got. It would be more defensive. It's kind of just no. I think I'll keep the regen. It's actually kind of nice because I didn't manage it with my amulet and said I had an amulet that's actually. <laughs> I could actually put on a different amulet if I wanted, because the current one's just giving fire this, which I don't really need in here now that I think about it. In fact, um... Ice Intelligence could be... No, I need to... Uh, that's now with the Earth Magic. Do I, have a, do I have a good Intelligence ring? I want AC Magic Points decks. I might actually put that one on instead of my Fire Core Resist one. So I get a little bit more AC, and yeah, fire resist still too, which is good enough for the rest of the game. Um, because I done all the places that need fire resist. I mean, in here, if I wanted to emulate things, I'd need a little bit of fire resist, but that's kind of the only reason I could actually use it. Alright, well, I can see the way down. Some of the reason I marked, I think it was a trap that marked me. I might as well just go to the 
This way down, I think, leads to the third level. I mean, I guess any way down is going to lead to the third level. Um, I don't have any buffs. That feels super weird, but I guess I just go down. You got a magic map to reveal where the traps are. So this is dispersal traps. <sighs> hmm. Oh. Nope. I'm not staying in this net here. Come on. Please get me out of here. Alright. Good. Bit worried about like the spousal traps and stuff around here. But uh, let's just go upstairs. So that did, that did somewhat of a dead. But I did have to use a blinking scroll which is unfortunate. Oh well. Back down I guess. Uh... Am I shattering these guys slowly? Alright, uh, actually my magic points are just fine. I've been slowed, but I'm not too bad. I can just wait around. Oh, the map artist thing? Oh, it's like a little bit stash, dude. <laughs> like the Bibles, I think I broke most of it. I didn't even realize what this one was. Yeah, it doesn't quite, uh, it doesn't quite fit together anymore. Uh... An ice intelligence ring. I'm not using my ice in here. I left the branches till later on where I don't need the ice. Uh, well, the ice magic doesn't work. Because, I mean, I was using ice magic earlier, right? Um, there we go. There's my rune. I want the ziggurat as well. There's so many things I can drop. I might get over the... Wait, does that make any sense? I might draw that one as well. I'm just not sure that some of those rings make that much sense. I think the Conjuration Alchemy. This character, like, didn't get into Conjuration at all. Um, as it turns out. They did us. They did ice. And that's about it. Let's get out of here. I mean, that was, uh, that was not too bad. Uh, got a little bit of strength drain, but uh, also the sad drain wasn't too bad. Right, so I got the Iron City of Dis left, and I think that's a... Whoops, just go to hell. Where is... This is the Iron City of Dis, I know what this is. And I've got Shadow, which should be fairly effective in here. Apart from the, the Caustic Strikes, uh... But... A little bit of Paul of Vortex should be able to teach those ones a lesson, I guess. I can't magic map any levels I want here. Um, not that I need to magic map this one because it's pretty clear where the exit is. Ooh, that needs a bit of shadow. Oh, okay. Nope, that's not working. Ow, that's actually really bad. Um, I can't go up while these guys will destroy me on the way up. Gotta go down here. That doesn't leave as far as I'd like. Okay, this is kind of bad. They got rid of a lot of my health, and now I'm worried. Um. Man, that was a bad start. I might try Shatter again, though. Ow, I don't like where my health is sitting right now. Is that guy gonna block? I hope so. Okay. I still do have this guy next to me, which is maybe not the best. Um, ooh. That house is looking really bad. Um, I gotta hope this is alright, but I'm gonna blink back to here. Oh, no. That's another one of these dudes. Oh, I'm in big trouble. I was hoping I could get out of here, but no, I can't. Um... Or can I? I still got the polar vortex up. I think of butterflies, but it's not gonna work with the polar vortex up. Um, I don't have much that can give me back health right now, which is a big problem. I think I've got a couple of turns. If I pop the cigarette, I can head on into that. Oh, it's pandemonium lord on the first level. That's not what I want to see. It's got a uh, lightning bolt and invisibility. 
Um, uh huh. Uh, fuck, maybe, but uh, well, we were talking about earlier. Um, what can I actually do to this guy? Flies. Go to divide X of Jesus and um. Has no fire resistance, but I'm not sure that would make sense. Uh. I think I might do a Maxwell's, but I'm hoping this isn't a mistake. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I get my health back. There we go. Yeah, I played that I played that um, entrance to the other badly. I might just get out of here. But if I had have blinked immediately instead of just letting myself get surrounded by uh Oh, I should have saw the chow magic. Um surrounded by those uh Wow, I'm already quite wounded. I'm on minus forty corrosion as well. Okay. Ooh. It's already just three, but that was a narrow escape there. Yeah, if I'd have if I'd have started by blinking down though, I would have been perfectly fine. It's just I got hit from damnation in every direction and took got rid of most of my health on the first turn. That was uh yeah, that made things a lot harder. And it was uh too much damage I couldn't have just gone straight up again. Alright, let's go down. Unfortunately I can't buff before I go down, but oh well. Uh Okay. This is not ideal. I might just irradiate some of these guys. I think I'd go up, but I'm going to take a lot of health effects going back down through there. Alright. Oh, that was level 5, I think. 9 AC is quite small. Yeah, I don't have good physical defenses. I'm, uh... Classic mage, kind of classic blasting. I mean, I tried for the shield. It sort of worked. But, uh, I don't think it's doing as much as I like. I'm better off, I think, getting the spell cast to get the spell slightly better, being castable. What am I going to get up with my Halifax? That doesn't seem like much. Oh, what they do? No, I think I might have gone, the, gone to the wrong spot. Hold on, I need to... I tell her to do that, so now if I accidentally hit uh, Shift G or whatever, it doesn't take me up through some hells or something. Okay, it's level 5 that I think was the problem. So I'll start with the channel magic on it, go down. So it's drain my decks a bit, but apart from that, I'm not too bad. Oh, three health sigils. One should die. Still three of them. Another one should die. There we go. Okay. Go down to level six. Um, it's the shrikes. Gotta keep on shattering, but they're doing quite a bit of damage to me. Fortunately, that kind of runs me out of magic points. I lost my uh, polyphotics. Oh, I really don't want to, but I'm gonna take all the hell effects again and just get my health back. All right. Um, please don't drain my decks. Okay. It was level 6, it was the problem level. Uh, it's not draining my deck, so which is nice. Alright, let's follow the channel magic go down. That's fine so far. Good, and that's the staircase. This leads to the last level. Unfortunately, no buffs to put on before I go down. Oh, there's nothing else to kill. So I'm going to get back to max health or something. On channel magic, head on down. 
His things can be shattered. It's nice at least. Um, I quickly do a magic mapping. This is why I've got to break. Okay, so I can just go straight this way, get to the boss. I keep my magic near full, so I don't have any problems with that one. By challenging mainly. Alright, Juggernaut's are fine. Those are um, affected by, well, everything. They do shatter, fall the vortex. Yeah, no problems there. Not a channel magic, but it's not great with the enemy on screen. But I think that's going to be the case for a little while here. Not too worried about the Holy Wrath weapons because I don't think any of those guys are going to get up to me. Otherwise, it probably would be something to worry about. Right, kind of just going directly across this level. Um, because that way I should get like little guys kind of ambushing me or anything. So they clear out everywhere. No, it kind of be a tragic, uh, a wide lot of creatures on either side of me. Um... Do I have to be a bit careful about the soul giants throwing things at me? Uh, I do not do well in melee with this character. Just a little guy with holy wrath. Alright. I'm kind of surprised with this character. They haven't had any problems with holy wrath so far. In fact, they did the whole of the holy pandemonium. And it was actually not too bad. Which is weird. Uh... Got a shatter every now and then, just to make sure I attract it. I think it's within hearing distance of the shatter. Because I don't want to attract them all at once when I uh, do get it within... Well, when I do need to do a shatter. Alright. Uh... Oh, I need to go look at titles, don't I, with this character. See what sort of things are available there, because I'm not actually sure. Uh, I was going to look at, I think the first title I was going to look for was like a Rue one, or just any sort of low-tier god one that I haven't had before. So, that's not it. Okay. I mean, one of these ones, like Sluggish, I could go for that. Sluggish, um... Where is something like Rue? I've had to miss that one. Questioner? I feel like I haven't been a questioner before, surely not. Uh Hopefully I spelled that correctly. No, I haven't. Okay, that sounds like a that sounds like a plan for me. Although no nah, would sluggish be better? Because how often am I gonna play a, like a mummy? Chamber is actually no, I can grab that some other time, but I don't can't get a god title. I feel like the majority of my mummies are probably gonna be with Sif Mana, honestly. Because this channel magic is just so nice when you can't uh drink potions. Alright, I'm pretty close to the boss. Hey the Despader! I can see the rune. Is he flying? Oh, he is too. I thought it was taking a bit to take him out. Uh... Oh, I lost my polar vortex as well. Um... I 
Hey, there we go. He's dead. All right. So I can grab my rune. That should be all of my runes. Let's get out of here. But I think it even said it was all of them. You've collected all runes. Now go and win. All right. Sounds like a plan. Um, we don't want to swap gods. Probably on the orb run. I feel like I glad top five already. So that should be easy enough to head through here. Uh... Yep, this all looks all looks fine. All right, grab this rune. Go to. I'm gonna try Rue. Oh, now wait, I uh, I don't know. I could have just started with putting a polyphotics or something. Oh wait, though. No, uh, try to out of that, guys. Of course, not gonna work. And now that I'm outside of a branch that's getting like hell creatures, I'm trying to think of which spells the, the best one to be using. Alright, keep on going. Uh, I don't know if Shattering's mass would be effective against this guy. But I'll Shatter to it against the Polar Vortex range. Oh, hey there, Gastrook. I don't know if his hand was any good. No, it's plus zero. Because I got him uh, screwed up quite well. He never even noticed me. That's kind of funny with those shadow demons, how they get brought in, but they don't really matter that much. Um, I don't actually know what's effective against this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's working, I suppose. Sacrificial Waddles for real dungeon level 4, let's do this. Alright, it's gotta give me a new title. Let's, uh, quickly... Uh, don't know what Sif does when you abandon them. Oh, you might get confused sometimes, which would be kind of bad. But at least I'm on dungeon level 4, so let's just go to dungeon level 0. I'm here. I'm at the exit. Let's get out of here. As a questioner. That was really... That was a good run. That was super fun. I like that. I even brought some artifacts out with me, not that there was that useful. I did actually use the Octopus King Ring, that was really good, but I needed the Wizardry. Yeah, I still have Blinky left, but I used quite a few of those in the Iron City of Dust. Oh, I should remember about my Grab a Tambourine at the end. I forgot about that one. I used it a few times and it was really good. Because it kind of pulls a group, it pulls in a group of things and just holds them in place for a little while, so it's a really nice item. Man, that turn count was terrible because I had no uh, magic regen, but hey, a win's a win. That's a 15 rune win as well.